Oh. I accidentally clicked out of it. Okay, now we're live. <laughs> but, uh, okay, I will look up the Wikipedia definition in a second. What is, sure. what is your definition of a murder ballad? Okay, so basically a murder ballad is a folktale or a folk song, usually either based on word of mouth or of historical events or events that have been fictionalized. A story about crime, about death, a very popular about a woman wronged. <laughs> <laughs> I can't! Well, come on in, we're talking about murder ballads. Yeah, basically, I I started listening to... <laughs> I found out North Carolina had a good amount of murder ballads, so I just decided, <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Do the broadside ballads that were produced in the mid-19th century to commemorate executions count? Hmm. I think these are specifically, like, folk ballads. So, yeah, unless the broadsides you... were, like, things that sprung up from, uh, like, random folk as opposed to, like, a commissioned piece of work. You were yeah, reading History so... Crime? Ooh, Kate, that sounds so fun. Also, hi, how are you? I have a, um... A fancy schmancy ice cream sandwich because I went to the bougie grocery store oh, yeah. and I was like, I really want ice cream sandwiches. But they did not just have, like, you know, the generic Prairie Star ice cream sandwiches or anything. No, they had organic ice cream sandwiches from Oregon, so... <laughs> Oh, oh, hi, Jerry! Hello, nice. Dean and Daphne! Uh, I hope hey you all are having a great day. Hi, Deej! Hey, Deej! Wait, okay. um, if you want some explanations, uh, Jerry, we started going through because I told Kit as he was nomming on a good old non-GMO... Is it G... Anyway! <laughs> In the fancy bougie supermarket ice cream sandwich, bros, I started looking up murder five feet apart, ballads not <laughs> today because I was DJ in the Kate's mood. The absolute madman and Deej also got a more Jimmy modern kind of what style of murder ballad, but I would say I would Thank say you. broadside ballad. Sorry, go ahead. Thank you, uh, Deej, for gifting that sub to Mac. Nice. Very generous of you. Mac, enjoy. Um, oh. Enjoy not watching this stream. Uh, well, I guess you are in chat. Never mind. I was gonna say you wouldn't have any ads, but <laughs> that doesn't matter because you're part of the stream. <laughs> or oregano flavored ice cream. Hmm. I'm trying to think of a fruit that you could pair with oregano to make it work. Mm, but it's, maybe a it's really escaping fruit. me. Maybe uh, a stone yeah, fruit. I was like, maybe peach. But I don't know. I don't know about peach and oregano. Suddenly I'm like forgetting what oregano tastes like. <laughs> um, you think of a pizza mm. and the sauce. And the the flavor besides tomato and garlic that that's oregano. Two bros chilling in the hot Break down the oh. sauce. The because they're not gay. <laughs> DG cakes the absolute madman just gave the gift of frawlhood to Celestial Rand. DG buying the whole cast uh, subs. <laughs> thank you again, DG. Oh, thank you, DG. I'm the so... legend. DG, we need a absolute second ledge. fruit. We need a second fruit that tomato goes with, because unfortunately, tomato is not the fruit that I want my ice cream flavored after. <laughs> what not? about cucumber? I've had cucumber ice cream. Because I'm tomato phobic, Mac. Shut up. <laughs> wow. Gay and tomato phobic, they do exist. I will Damn. not apologize. Uh. <laughs> I, was to, I was trying to think of that thing that Jordan Peterson said. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, up yours, woke moralist. We'll see who cancels who. <laughs> but I can't do a Jordan Peterson voice. I don't know how to talk, talk like a Muppet. 
who's on the verge of dying. Like, literally looks like he's like, never... Like, literally looks like he's at death's life. door. How old is Jordan Peterson? Hold on. How much has eating only meat aged him? Is um, a hundred years. <laughs> no, a thousand. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's only 60. He's, he's only 60? He's, he is uh, a couple months older than my stepdad. My stepdad is doing way better than Jordan Peterson. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He was born in 1962. Uh, I think... I think we thought of it, Jerry, because it has now been made a meme. It is an extreme meme. The hate has aged him. Yeah, and the only eating meat. <laughs> and talking about the immortal dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, now I'm making deep cut Jordan Peterson uh, jokes because I love to hate. There's a fact about me. Oh, that reminds me. Um, so I'm a 19th century British scholar. So the people I work with most closely in my program are the si are, uh, same. And <laughs> the queen dying was brought up and I just said, fuck the queen. And, ever and they're both like, do you really think you should say that? I'm like, yes. <laughs> oh no, did they try to, <laughs> hold on. I'm no, it was her. more like, they they were like, well, we don't like to. One of my friends, she's a very sweet lady. She just she gets anxious. I don't think she likes to talk ill of anyone. So I understand. Oh. But also they're like, but also the younger people who are next in line are much much more conservative. I'm like, really? Oh my god, worse? that's like, <laughs> that's like okay. So when uh, I told everybody, Mac, I I don't know if you uh heard this. But, so, um, when, uh, Finn and I went to a cave, we went to a cave last Sunday. You went to very... a cave? Yeah, we went to a fucking cave. Um. That's amazing. But, unfortunately, right. it is apparently, and I did not realize this, is apparently a privately owned cave. Which. What? What the fuck? Nobody um, owns caves. Apparently caves they do. The apparently, I, and that, actually, this honestly brings up an interesting uh, legal conundrum for me, for, which is like, if you own, a, if you quote unquote own a piece of land, according to the government, how far deep does that go down? <laughs> I mean, and how, like how far, how far up does that go too, right? Because you can build uh -huh. up on a on a piece of land, but like, I would at what point do do you stop owning the airspace in this imaginary square? Uh, and, uh, the government says this is, this is United States airspace. Um. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like at a certain point, if we're bringing up the 19th century, you could also think about, like, the destruction of the, the commons? <laughs> yeah, the destruction of the commons. And also, if we're, if we have to talk about the bougie landowners, like, when they decided to build mines or quarries on their land and wait. then got bought out or people stole it's, from wait, them. Wait, Rand, what was that? They built mines and, and what else? Quarries. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I've just never heard anyone say quarries. <laughs> I know. I. It's not supposed to no, sound no, like De that. No, no, Deej, Rand did not say queries. <laughs> Rain said uh, queries. I, I was <laughs> like, what? No, no okay. I was like, qua? Qua. Wait, no, that's not it's that's spelled not qua. It. <laughs> that's not it. <laughs> nice save at the last second. Um, no, okay, but Mac, so we went to the cave, right? And it, we found out, unfortunately, that it was privately owned. Hi, Win. Hi, Win. Hi, Win. Um, Finally we went, here. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. Becca's probably going to be even later. I don't know where the hell she'll- when the hell she'll show uh, up. Uh, she's- Oh, yeah, I don't know. She said she had to finish homework. So. Yeah, and I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, so we went to the privately owned cave, right? Uh, and we were like, well, that's kind of a bummer, but at least we get to tour, like, this very cool cave and see all these cool formations. And they did the thing where they turned the lights out, right? Um, mm -hmm. 
And uh, and then we get close to the end. Oh no! It's September 16, <laughs> I feel like you, you, you you've done this, but it's only bit you in the butt. <laughs> Was it? Is it? Is it really biting me in the butt frightened... if we have a blast every single time? Well, the only thing it's doing is increasing. Your, according to your oh no, well. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, you, that's you just because this. I've uh, I've interrupted my own story like three times now. But that's <laughs> that's my fault. That's not that's not the Friday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Kate, we can't we don't say the F word in this stream. This is a This is an all ages stream. Also, hi Sarah. <laughs> it's okay. I miss it's, you coming in. Honest, we're it's totally fine. It's yes. totally it's fine. fine. Okay. It's funny. Cave story. Isn't Cave Story a video game? Anyway, Cave yes. Story. Um, cave GF. Cave GF. We we get to the close to the end of the tour. Um for okay. Also, side note about the tour itself: there were many. I this is why I hate that this cave is privately owned. There were like three separate times where the guide told us that a certain pathway was only unblocked after the cave owner saw like a crack in the wall of the cave and decided to oh. chuck lit dynamite past the <laughs> crack. Oh ran away God. and like oh. blew open and it was like there was a whole oh. other like uh what? cavern in there <laughs> and i was like cape, like <laughs> revoked well he did this it was back in the 1930s or whatever uh, it was like uh, yeah. ages yeah. ago no more cave for you, you know right <laughs> okay and here's the thing he owned a different cave in missouri that was like like it's basically like uh like half an hour down the same highway or whatever. Um and the state took that cave away from him. <laughs> and I don't know why. But I want it should to be nobody's. I uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe, I was, I was maybe like he I made dark rituals. I, maybe. Um but I like <laughs> I I really need to look up the the story behind the repossession of o Onondaga Cave and why the state was like actually you can't privately own this. This is ours now. Um, like, did he sell it to them, or was it like actually no? Like, this is a this is a natural like landmark. He shouldn't uh, legally he shouldn't have a cave at all. This. Yeah, he, he shouldn't have a cave at all. There, because he he this is what he does with it. Anyway, so uh, we get we get close to the end of the tour, <clears throat> and they have this uh, room with this really cool uh, formation. I think it. I think they said it was limestone. Um, but, uh, basically it's like a, uh, it's basically like a giant stalactite, um, that, like, fell in, like, these beautiful, like, sheets, and it almost looks like a theater curtain, um, like an old-style big, uh, theater mm. curtain. Um, uh, and so that's what they call it. What they had done, though, was in that room, they had set up some benches <laughs> and a projector and some lights. Um, and what happened next made me want to puke because they made us sit down and said, in honor of all those who have served and for some, and uh, because of 9-11, uh, please enjoy this light show. Oh and it was, they played like a slideshow and <laughs> and did like, it, it wasn't even like impressive lights. It was just like they lit up different parts of the cave or whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but all set to a co a, like uh, someone singing God Bless America. And it was like the most like, yes. it was the most like propaganda-y Christian nationalist shit. Like it, it. The slideshow began and ended with a quote from the Bible. Two different quotes. It's a um, and I was like, that's what I was saying. I was like sitting there, like, this is a cave. This is a cave. What the fuck? Do not, do not. I feel like that is more blasphemous to that cave than any kind of yeah. um, dark dynamite. Dark like at least dynamite. There. Like at least the dynamite is like in the sake of like exploration, right? Like I want to see what's behind that wall. The <laughs> the nationalism, not in my fucking cave. 
Anyway. Caves are secular. And caves are secular, yes. and yes. they don't have borders, um, even though they clearly have walls. Um, but you know what yeah. I mean. Um, <laughs> caves are boundless. Uh, <laughs> caves are an extant form of life. Caves are an extant form of life. Try to kill a cave. You can't. Um, in a way that matters. In a way that matters, yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, so we, I was just like, aghast at that um but what made me reminded me of that was uh rand you saying are you saying that out loud in like a public space uh where people who would extremely disagree uh could hear because afterwards so i'm i'm very used to living in like small towns in the midwest where um uh i can't say like leftist shit out loud without getting like challenged about it um uh -huh. Or, like, evil stares or feeling like I'm in danger. Um, and my friend Finn uh, has lived their entire life in either Portland, Oregon, or uh, Madison, Wisconsin, oh, no. or Seattle, uh, Washington. Oh, no. Right? Oh, so oh, Finn dear. does not Finn have, know. like, Finn, Finn like, Finn shares my opinion on this. Finn also thought it was disgusting. Um, yeah. What Finn then did, and we were clearly, like, the group that we were with was, like, a bunch of, like, old people and families, uh, like, all of them white. Uh, one kid at one point um, made a comment. I, the, the guy did said something about one of the formations in the cave being, like, the third largest of its kind in the world behind one that exists in a cave in New Zealand and one that exists in a cave in China. Um, and this little kid shortly afterwards was like, I can't believe China beat us again. Um, and I was like, oh, oh no. Jesus Christ. Um, anyway, so that's like the kind of company that we were in. Also some person, uh, like clearly people, uh, some people started clapping at the end of the slideshow. Uh, and one person uh, said, literally said, "Amen." When everything got quiet afterwards, Whoa. and I was like, <laughs> "Can people anyway, chill?" Afterwards, Finn then started making comments about how nationalistic the slideshow was. As we were uh, like, after that, it was basically just they led us back to the front of the cave. Um, <laughs> And I was just like, I was Man, like, you don't I didn't want to get left behind. I was like, I so didn't know how to say out loud without uh, like community to Finn. Like this, like this is a quiet cave where like everyone can hear what everyone else is saying, uh, and we are in the minority here. And I don't want to get left behind in this cave. So, <laughs> <laughs> what if we kissed in front of the underground 9/11 propaganda slideshow and we were both boys? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Oh, so, boy. um. Oh, anyway, that reminded me of that. It was wild. I never <laughs> want to see propaganda uh, in a cave ever again. <laughs> oh my god. I have to laugh because it's just. <laughs> It was, it was just, it was really incredible. I could not believe it was happening as it was happening. <laughs> like, people say these things. And fully beat it with their goddamn. Yeah, I was like, out. "Wow, you all really like drank the Kool Aid, didn't you?" Anyway. anyway um, um, how is everybody? <laughs> yeah, how is well, everybody? I am actually. Do you guys want me to tell you about what happened with like my chair? Because it's fucking funny. Oh yes, yes please. Yes. Also, I I'm so too. excited that I you've see. joined the because I, I have that same chair. Um, yeah. And so does. Uh, I, so does Katie. I got it because it's it's fucking small. Two bros. It, 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 the, the size that I got is meant to be from four eleven to five six. <laughs> and um and uh, it has oh. oh thank you Deej for that sub uh, gifted sub. Thank you. Deej is fucking it, killing it tonight. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Yeah, you also Sam. Out. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. Uh, well, I'm so glad you did not experience firsthand the cave propaganda, but I'm so glad that you're watching Atla, uh, and, and getting some Uncle Iroh dosage. That's very good. Hell yeah. Um, but I also love the fact that it's got lumbar support. That's the, like, you know, yeah. but it's adjust, it's adjustable on lumbar support. Cause usually they put the lumbar support too high. Yeah. Um, for me. And I'm like, it hurts my back. So, uh, anyway, um, so <laughs> 
I'm still laughing about it now. So the guy came. It was meant to come at 10.30. It, they didn't get here until 2.30. Um, and, um, but the thing is, my street is really hard to understand. It is, mm -hmm. a, it is like, it is a dead end street off of a cul-de-sac. So, so the cul-de-sac is dead end, and then you go onto my oh, street. Oh, intra- weird. Yeah, so I often have to give extra um, directions to people to understand where my house is. Um, because even if our number is like plainly there, uh, people still think that we're, num we're our next door neighbor's number. And that our other next door neighbor is us. Um, because of where the nook where my neighbor is at the top end of the street, their mailbox with their number on it is like almost on our property. So it looks like we're them. And <laughs> so it's even more confusing. <laughs> and it's a, it's a single lane. The way to get into my street is a single lane. So to come in there with your courier van, like Oh no. So I um, hear them, I hear them outside, and I don't bring my phone with me, and I go downstairs to the porch thinking I have to direct them into my um, house, right? Mm -hmm. um, they're there, they don't even go into my driveway, they're like on the part of the road that kind of goes up to the next neighbor, mm -hmm. so I'm thinking they're already confused. So I'm like, okay, it's fine, you just gotta come over here, you gotta come over here, and they are not understanding my hand signals, <laughs> and, and they're already oh. starting to like pack up and go and I'm like oh no oh no <laughs> no no so no I, so my mom's like wait do you have do you have their number and I'm like oh wait I left my phone upstairs so I run upstairs to get it they've already called me twice apparently I come back downstairs they're driving away they oh. <laughs> I'm like no it's <laughs> shit and then they stop at my other next door neighbors so I'm thinking okay so maybe they think that's me I don't know, and then they drive again, they're driving out into the cul-de-sac, and they stop further down, so I'm thinking, oh, so do they think that I'm down there as well? Like, I don't know what's happening, I have no fucking clue, so I call them, and we have a short conversation in which I think he is saying, hey, uh, I've already, like, driven out of your street, like, he was already gone, like, I saw him go on to, like, the next roundabout, he was like, I've driven out of your street, and I'll come back with your order, right? Uh-huh. I'm thinking that's what's happening. So I'm waiting out there for like 10 minutes and I'm like, where the fuck did he go? So I call him again and I'm like, hey, where's my order? And he's like, what? Do you not want. Is the chair not yours? And I'm like, no, it is mine. Where is it? <laughs> and he's like, but. And because, see, in his mind, he had already left it here. And in my mind, I think he's taken it with him. So I'm oh, no. like. Where's my chair? And he's like, uh, so is that the wrong chair? Like, is that not your chair? And I'm like, no, the chair's my order, but where is <laughs> um, This goes on for five minutes. This extremely, uh, who's on first, uh, conversation, yes. it sounds like. It was a who's on first, who's on second conversation, and it goes back and forth for five minutes, until finally I realize he's left it here. And so I'm thinking, he's like, oh, I've left it behind the white car in your garage. And I'm like, Oh no, because we don't have an open garage, we don't have a carport, <laughs> and oh. we do have a white car, but all four of my neighbours that are closest to me all have white cars, <laughs> and all of them have, at the moment, either open carports or open garages. And it's pouring rain, by the way. So oh, I'm thinking, no. he has left it at one of my neighbours. And so I'm like, oh, I think you left it at the wrong house because I can't see it on my house. Yeah. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's not at my place. And he's like, okay, how about I send you a photo because I did take a photo of it. And will that help? And I'm like, this said, I'll help immensely. Thank you so much. And he's like, yeah, no problem. And I'm like, it's all good. Thank you. So we hang up and I go upstairs and I put on my waterproof down jacket. I zip it all the way. I put my hood on. I grab my mask. I grab my glasses. I've got my umbrella. And then I receive the, <laughs> the image. Uh-huh. It's very badly taken. Uh-huh. <laughs> so it's so close that you can't really see the outward, like, landscape or whatever and then i realize that the <laughs> car is behind <laughs> is my mum's ah! in 
is in our garage, Jess. And I'm thinking, how is it in our garage? We didn't open up the garage door. And then I realized, and I'm, I literally burst into laughter. Do you know why? Because for the last six months, our garage has been playing up. As in, you press, you press to close it, and it will only close so, so uh, much, and then it will jerk to a stop. <laughs> so, we usually have to watch the garage close to make sure that it closes. But mm -hmm. my mum has a habit of not doing that and leaving the garage open for hours until it's time to like put on the alarm to go to bed and then she realizes she's left the garage door open for 10 hours. So, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, she's home. So I thought this whole time that the garage was closed so there was no fucking way he could have left it at my house. <laughs> So I'm thinking that I had to go <laughs> in the pouring rain <laughs> and look through four houses at least to find my goddamn chair that weighed a ton and then somehow drag it back to my house in the rain. But no, it's in our garage. <laughs> wow, that's a certified chair moment. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> I was like so... laughing all the way downstairs and my mom's like, what's wrong? Because she's on the phone with somebody and I'm like, mom, it's in our garage. And she's like, what do you mean? Our garage is closed. And I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't close again. It worked to our advantage this time. <laughs> That's fucking incredible. So I downstairs and he left it like at the very like end of the garage. So I had to like. Drag it. It. <laughs> and then I had to get my mom's help. <laughs> yeah, that box is out. heavy. You need and then you need fucking two people laughing to, open to myself. It. Yeah, I fucking laughed to myself the entire time. I thought it was hilarious. Fucking incredible. Anyway, I'm glad, sorry. <laughs> I'm glad it ended well though. Um, yeah, I'm so glad I didn't have to go fucking chair hunting. Yeah. I <laughs> Oh my god, it was probably the most, like, it could be on a sitcom. That's how stupid it was. Is it funny that as you were saying garage, I was like, oh, it's so interesting that depending on where you're from, you say garage different things. And I just was yeah. like, wait, garage used to be carriage house. We yeah. are the what? saying it weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Garage. Okay, but then why do we say <laughs> car? <laughs> Why do we say car instead of, uh, care? Yeah, I say car. <laughs> right, like, no, no, I'm, I, yeah, that, that, that is a word that is said the same, uh, uh, across the board, right? Automobile. Yeah. An automobile. <laughs> Your vehicle. What, um, what, what do they call it in <laughs> German? It's something wagon. Yeah, uh, yeah. Volkswagen. Well, that's the brand. <laughs> yeah. Garage is full of car Autos. Car and autos. <laughs> oh, uh, but in Italian, it's automobile, I think. Automobile. Um, but that's it's like so the long. longest, that's like the longer version. Like, they actually call it something else. Um, like, similar to car. It's Auto. not car. We are just becoming Athena Sykes. Insane. Volkswagen is the people's wagon. Oh, it's, it's so I forgot, true. I forgot. It's literally <laughs> Machina. <laughs> Machina. <laughs> I'm trying to remember um yeah. yeah like we say like I but the thing is saying garage that sounds more fancy but I say just garage <laughs> I'm trying to remember what the Japanese word was for cell phone because I feel like it was a loan word but now I can't remember what it was a loan word of and I um dude I forgot I think too. in Korean it's it's I mean you say it in a Korean accent but like hand phone um, was it okay well google translate is not being helpful yeah, gonna... it's saying it's <clears throat> gay denwa. Denwa. denwa oh den denwa was phone den denwa. Denwa. yeah denwa was oh, oh, oh. so it's just gay thai denwa Geta. I... Geta. Geta. no something Geta. like that oh keita thai Keitai. which means carrying. It's a phone that you carry. I love that. Especially because yeah. the early cell phones were literally phones that you carry. Yeah. <laughs> you had a suitcase. As we have seen from... In Yakuza Zero. 
the um I used to I used to call uh my phone just mobile for short for mobile phone. Mm, um that, and that, I think that's a yeah. that that's like most people here do call it your mobile. Um but then like I think the younger generation because it's more, you know, internet and stuff, we call it just a phone now. Um mm. but yeah. Like, I've been alive just, like, mobile here. For X years and I just now made the car short for carriage connection. Oh Sam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the club. It's okay. <laughs> also fun fact if you're pronouncing it extra German, it's Volkswagen. <laughs> mm. oh. <laughs> Makina. <laughs> Anime intro plays. Gay Tai Denwa. <laughs> oh, so, oh, this is like this is walk. like this is like me yesterday. Uh, yeah, yesterday when <laughs> When Mac, when you were streaming, and Tyga showed up, and then I was thinking about Tyga's, uh, uh, Tyga. fucking, yeah, <laughs> I was thinking about his back tattoo, and I was like, man, it's so cool that Tyga has a tiger ta uh, tattoo on his back, <laughs> and then I, I thought that in my head, and I was like, wait, wait a second. <laughs> wait, this but also, I'm like, I, I don't know if that's actually, like, what they meant, I, mean, I don't think it is. I mean, let me look, because I, um... I think of Toradora. <laughs> Yes, yeah, me too. I was about to yeah. say, like, I, don't, I haven't finished Toradora, but Toradora is like one of Sunny's most like absolute favorite animes, and she's been trying to make me like finish the whole thing with her for like years. Uh -huh. We keep getting distracted at some point, but yeah, her name is Tiger. But they make the whole like um, I don't think it means Tiger in I don't Japanese. Think it does. It's just but like, they know that it, it's Tiger in English. Oh, so, so they, they are like, playing on some onomatopoeia. Yeah, because the or the not onomatopoeia in the, in the anime is homophone again because his name's Ryu. Oh, so. okay. It's, or is there oh, a specific what? is there a specific word for um when in two separate languages a word sounds identical but means a different thing? I feel like that's a there's oh, a specific word for that, but I have no clue where to even start to look that up. There I just must say homophone. Be because I find those false sorts of cognates. Things absolutely... There we go. I find those things yeah. absolutely fascinating. That, that a word can evolve in two different languages, whether it be a name or not, and mean completely different things, even though it said the same. So as yeah, name. it's like the same sound. Well, yeah. depending on alphabet, you know. What I, I mean. will say, technically, Taiga can have different meanings depending on the kanji or kanji. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. So okay, false it cognates. Seems like Oh, go ahead. False cognate. Uh, it seems, for the most part, it can mean big and gracious or uh, gentle. Well, yeah, it's got it's got tie in there. That. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Or... Crabization of language. The, <laughs> the car. <laughs> Wait. Crabization. Uh... I thought that was. All carcinization. 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 We did get what Sir Med. We got it's it. It's true. <laughs> and mm. also false cognate. Yeah, you were right. Wait, kid. Herbert Dice, the current CEO of Volkswagen, had to apologize for using Nazi slogans due to oh still a third right kind of guy. Honestly, I'm not oh shocked God. though. Like, how yeah. many how many like um generationally rich people in Germany today? Are just uh, uh, people who who successfully avoided uh, uh, war crimes trials mm -hmm. uh, for being like huge Nazis back in the day, right? Cool. Like, yeah, that's like uh, that's reminding me of that. Uh, <laughs> I see some dude do some uh, YouTube short. <laughs> that was like a bunch of like people of different like. Uh, from different European countries all sitting around um, talking about like, uh, oh, my grandpa was like a mechanic during the war and oh, my grandpa was a, a medic during the war and oh, my grandpa um, was at the Battle of the Bugle or whatever and stuff like that. And then they get around to the German guy and he's like, why are we, why are we talking about what our grandparents were doing? Uh, yeah, do you guys want some more drinks? <laughs> Oh no! I yeah. was like, "Oh God, oh, buddy." Oh boy. Well, at least you knew. It's like, yeah, I'm not gonna share that. That doesn't need to yeah. be spoken mm, about. My grandpa was four during the war. Was your family still? Your family was still in Italy at that point, right? 
Uh, my grand, well, my yeah, mom was yes. Yeah, he was in Italy. He and they were in northern Italy in the Alps. So oh, they no. were like first. Um, and they were like their village was occupied by soldiers uh -huh. and oh. they raided their um because they're like dirt poor right and they would raid their houses mm. for things oh. and they took his father's razor when they hit it and my grandpa <laughs> stood he's four years old he stood up to the soldiers at four years old um and told them to give it back yeah and his older brother was like okay okay uh no uh, no, no, actually no, 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 no come no, back no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. get back though. I don't remember what happened. But... Oh god. <laughs> that is so weird. It's um. like... Yeah. My my grandmother was in Australia though. She was born here. Oh, okay. Um... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm I, also uh, glad it didn't end badly for him because uh, yeah. now Ren is here. <laughs> yeah, but also it's like, oh you ever my God. okay? But do you yeah, ever think you... about that? Do you ever think about like the cause and effect? Like yes, how many, yeah. how many yeah, different like, people had to? About... Because like it's not even just like like right. You've got like four grandparents. Um, mm -hmm. I and and each of them has four grandparents, and each of those. Great, great, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, it, it, it's just and it's just like mind boggling. a chain of coincidences leading up to this moment in time right now. And every coincidence that happens to me will affect someone else's life in yeah. seemingly insignificant but incredible ways. Like even if I don't have children, right? Like maybe I am the mutual friend that gets two people yes. to get together and yes. then they have a child and choices too like choices as well like, right it's, all of it is just crazy. like i happen to be at this place on this day and met this person like i honestly i happen to be looking on twitch two years ago for a subnautica stream yeah. and found <laughs> mac <laughs> like, and, and, if <laughs> and if i hadn't come across that one tweet about you asking mutuals to join um your your dungeon world campaign yeah! if i hadn't made the if i hadn't made the choice the leap to like hey uh, i'm socially awkward but like would you want an australian who's like 14 hours ahead of you to join <laughs> <laughs> if i hadn't done that i literally would have not met any of you it's absolutely true. none of you it's unless so you know weird. through some weird uh other thing, like other yeah. circumstances. Jerry, that is so, why they call it the present. It's a gift. <laughs> okay. Hey. Hey. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. This is wild. I love. I love everyone. I, I love here's everyone. a question: yeah, Do we think that Becca is actually so like... happy you you joined in on the Twitch sessions? I was like. Because I saw you getting more back into Ace Attorney, I was like, "Hey, if you want to, you could you could come to streams. We do." <laughs> <laughs> I've tried to get Sunny to join, but she's um, she's mainly like she now works on these days, and um, mm. but before she was like, hmm. she just uh, can't keep her attention that long, which is totally fine. Oh, <laughs> That's fair. fair. That's Which fair. is, you know, me with any other stream that doesn't have either you or Mac in it, so like, totally cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whoa! Okay, wait. So I'm on the, uh, I'm on the wiki page for False Cognate. The first example they give is the English word dog, and the Mbabaram word dog. Uh, Mbabaram is apparently, um, an Australian uh, Aboriginal language. Mm -hmm. um, from North Queensland, apparently. Um, apparently also have the word dog um, that have th the exact same meaning in very similar pronunciations, but by complete coincidence. Like, what the fuck? That's crazy. <laughs> like, that like English is a language I... that, uh, that developed on literally the opposite side of the globe, and yet they still have that. the same word... That sounds almost exactly the same and is is meant to refer to the same exact thing, which is a dog. That's like, incredible. What the fuck? There are there are literally like hundreds, hundreds of Aboriginal languages, but that is yeah. incredible. That is amazing. I did not know that because I only I only really know more about um, New South Wales Indigenous people. Hi so... Adam. Hi Adam. 
Hi, Adam. Oh, we we have a sign of life from Becca. It is small. Oh. But it is there. It is. Uh, she <laughs> types. Just three. She three types. Inches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I literally met Becca. Eris because we were both in the same high Q group chat. I remember Eris telling me about this, and then met Kit through Eris and the fallen Kit and Eris here, and I feel so lucky for it. I'm Aww. so lucky to know you, Kate. I'm so lucky to know yeah, all of y'all. Yeah, all of you are great people. We have oh, the coolest like community you. on the uh, internet. Let me just tell yeah. you. We do. Yeah, we do. Fucking fight us. And that's why you should tell your friends. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, everybody. Like, share, I'm and subscribe. You in, I'm gathering you in a giant group hug. Hug. Oh, my um, arms aren't long enough, but I'll find a way. <laughs> by the way, uh, my, uh, my not so secret admirer continues to uh, leave messages on the um, <laughs> on the archive channel. <laughs> the oh. very so the very first one was on one of the off videos. It said I love you. Uh, uh, and then this? on uh, on the legally His secret bald, admirer, not on, so secret. <laughs> yeah, my not so secret admirer uh, on the legally bald seventy. Uh, married me, dot dot dot, I love you. Uh, <laughs> what? On day one of the, uh, Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life Let's Play, married me Bonita. What? <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> uh, you apparently have not been listening, so I will have to decline that. Um, on day three, uh, Wonderful Life, married me, dot dot dot, I'm single. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Day four, Harvest Moon, four. Wonderful Life. Married me, Bonita, again, dot, dot, dot. Heart eyes emoji. Tongue sticking out emoji. Ew. Angel, uh, like, halo emoji. Strong arm <laughs> emoji. Heartbeat emoji. Kissy face with a heart emoji. <laughs> And then Hi. the most recent, uh, five hours ago, day six, oh. uh, Harvest Moon and Wonderful Life, married me. I'm from Mexico. And I say Mexico because he did include the accent. <laughs> uh, I, oh, well. <laughs> this, they is, know, this is... He really decided, like, hey, I'm gonna shoot my shot. In that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't he clearly just, see? I already have a wife and a son, so. Yeah. <laughs> this is What's just reminding spam? me of like um of those spam like it was like a bop like spam uh, comments that I got all of my videos on Blue Moon. They were all in Chinese, oh. and oh. So when I translated when I translated them, they were saying things like, <laughs> um. Uh, marry me, we will go to a farm and we will live forever and, and <laughs> if you live, if, if, <laughs> that, you, we will have, we will be in love and we will marry and, <laughs> and, and Red that's like, me it at copy, you it wasn't a copy pasta it was like, it was the same message but like different reiterations of it yeah, so different like weird. ways of saying the same thing that's fucking yeah, incredible yeah, it was like a whole paragraph it was <laughs> okay, but they, they knew the assignment they knew the assignment they knew that every millennial's <laughs> dream is to run away to a cottagecore <laughs> fantasy farm um, I ended and up live blocking the, um, the channel itself because just removing the comments wasn't doing anything I yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. hi, Becca. I'm hi, oh my you? god, Becca, you're here. You missed it. Uh, there's there's a man from uh, Mexico uh, who keeps commenting on my videos and wants me to marry him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good for you, I guess. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> anyway, how was your how was your homework? Uh, not well. Um, yeah. Wait, keep talking about that. I'm gonna go make another <laughs> drink and then we can get started. Uh, it's just, I don't, I don't, it's, it's just rough homework because half of the things on the homework they didn't actually talk about in class. So I'm like, well, oh, I don't no. know what I'm doing, so it's great. Um, and it's not done, and I will die. Uh, but everything. I hate it when they do that. Yeah, like some of, some of the stuff they did talk about in class, but they didn't talk about, I mean, this is, I guess, but it's something, it's something that I have. It's a um, pet peeve I have with um, 
with the CS classes, not a lot of them talk about how you're supposed to implement the things that we talk about, like mm. like the concepts into coding. And it's always mm. like big. I mean, like this is just college, I guess. They they expect you to do that yourself. But I I always just have yeah. a peep about it because it's like I'm coming here to learn <laughs> so, yeah, how to do it. I don't I know. Went to the school. No, I I had a. I had like a really a, a lot of stuff like that in my landscape design classes and me and uh, my friends we like I mean I fucking ripped that professor to shreds because I was like the thing <laughs> that I was so excited to learn about we never once learned like I this is net yeah. zero knowledge why am I paying so much money for this yeah yeah I totally get it because like this yeah. is different of course this isn't computer science this is language but like what I have my pet peeve is the exact same it's like they give you so much vocab or um they start teaching you fucking English grammar when I'm trying to learn Italian and um and then they don't actually give you any any of the practicalities to be able to form sentences or be able to speak it actually uh and I think that's like it's similar with as you were saying about computer science they're telling you stuff but not actually telling you how to implement it like yeah, yeah that's that, fucking like, annoying you how to implement it like you know you, that would help you understand it so much more <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, like literally because i'm like even even like whenever we're talking about it in class he doesn't really this this specific professor um not not all of them are like this um they're not, he's not really using examples, really, or at least not, like, tangible ones, like, like you would see on an exam. He's using very, like, uh, this is, a, this is like a probability, or it's an intro to machine learning class. Um, mm. So it's like dealing with, like, probability and whatnot, like statistics. Um, so it's like, um... Currently, we're I don't I don't want to name drop like fucking the concepts that we're learning because it's like it would go it would go like what there would be no point to, um, but it's just like whenever he's talking about examples, he's he's using things that are like simplistic, sure, but like they don't really correspond to um, what we're using them in the homework, you know. Yeah. So it's like, there's not a tangible thing that I, like, I can conceptual, like, like, because the example he uses for, it's, it's essentially sorting, you know, there's like, like, you have two boxes that have um, uh, different shapes that have, that are colored differently and, all, and are also sized differently. So it's like, um, and they're, they're like, quote unquote, randomized into this. So it's like, if you're given a new shape, how would you sort this into either box or whatever? And like, I conceptually get that. Cause like, where it's like, yeah, okay, well you, you judge it based on what shape it is and um, the color it is and how big it is. And you compare it to the shapes, colors and sizes in each box or whatever. And then you sort it that way. Um, but it's like, how am I supposed to take that example and <laughs> move it to a, um, to like a coding example because it's like i don't know it's like it's when when the when the um when the homework is talking about here okay i, I already said this and stuff but like three of the five problems that that were on the homework that that is due um are we're covering things that we had not learned about in class at all like there was yeah. this con there was this equation uh, called like the Gini test or something like uh, G I N I, and I when I when I opened the homework PDF and it was like uh, question question four or whatever question five. This is like you're going to be implementing this thing. I'm like, what the fuck is a Gini index? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't like. I don't know what this thing is that you're telling me. Um, and it's just um, it's just so frustrating. Um going into homework assignments that are <laughs> like that because um, i have to like look it up and whatnot, and whatnot and be like okay i guess i understand it or whatever i don't know I should, that does seem kind of dumb I'm, if that isn't so, covered in yeah it's it's so it it's so infuriating because like so infuriating. I, I had a lot of uh 
like design classes using a lot of like really really like skills that people do look for in jobs but they never really explained how that works like for the like you learn those things only when you get the job and you're like oh okay so yeah this is all my it's like why didn't they tell me that in the school like mm, i don't yeah. know why they don't like actually do some more on like hey you're taking this class clearly to this specific job let me show you what it would be like if you had this job that is yeah far out uh to yeah, college I is so yeah. overrated <laughs> <laughs> It really is just a certificate. Like it that's how my yeah. degree is treated. Um Exactly. It's basically like in a lot of cases a college degree is in some cases just pr like extremely expensive proof that you have like critical thinking and problem solving skills. Um which and then like I'm also torn because like I feel like in an ideal world <coughs> college colleges and like places of education should be able to just like be concerned with and just talk about uh like really inconsequential like stuff that you would never find in uh like a real life application for necessarily like um I don't necessarily think that uh higher education should always specifically be for like occupational training they're clearly yeah, you need they're, the abstracts yeah. there's like definitely but but also i feel like um some schools neglect occupational training um in favor of um the more idealized version of like higher education which is like knowledge for knowledge's sake type stuff um so i definitely get yes. that yes Yes, that's one thing that I appreciate more about Tay, for example, like, at the moment, it's brain dead stuff, but, <laughs> like, they have a lot more, um, like, practical things about it. Like, as much as I hate the scenarios, they're giving you scenarios in, like, a practical sense, like, uh -huh. how to actually utilize it in the job that you are training for. I have so, I know plenty of people who have a degree as proof they spent the money and not much else. That's fair. But I, but I think the way that, like, jobs treat it is they assume that if you have a degree that you have some base knowledge of, like, critical thinking and uh, problem-solving skills or whatever. Um, not always true, obviously. But just take me, for example. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I just feel like there are so many people who are, like, way smarter than me. Um, than I could, like, ever hope to be. Um. You're smart? What are you talking about? I, like, listen, not that I'm not, like, Fight smart me. in my own things, but, like, <laughs> I feel like I bullshit a lot of what I say all the time. So. I feel like more people are doing that than I think you think, though. Like, I think... I mean, that's fair. I think a lot of people, even the ones who are experts in their field, they can't know everything, so I think they also bullshit. Like, at times. And so I think... You know, doesn't make you less smart than them. Oh, Mac, I totally feel that. Yeah, exactly. It's like... Yes, Excuse exactly, me. yeah. I, I think there should be a balance. Yeah. Like, I, I definitely, like, what I wanted to do in college was to only, like, pursue stuff that was purely just going to be, like, like, theory and whatnot as what... And, like, I still obviously think that's, like... A thing people should do but then i was like really existential dread moment about uh you know getting job and then i was just so pissed when i actually like went into one of what i figured would be like the one of the most functional majors it was like oh y'all didn't sh teach me shit like what the yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I really teach me the plan theory things. not much else and then, yeah teach me the theory and then teach me how to apply it like yeah <laughs> I feel like they should have, like, uh, two different, almost, like, categories in, of classes in schools, right? Like, this is, like, one that is specific to, like, a particular type of occupation. Not that you could, like, do every single thing, right? But, um... And then, like, this is a class that's, like, theory, like purely, like, theory. This is, like, an academics class or whatever. 
And like maybe some majors would be more heavily focused on other like like a philosophy course, for instance. <laughs> um doesn't necessarily uh have a one-to-one -one, like real world uh application scenario, but uh hey. Jerry, it's either way, it's whatever it's however you want to spell it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, anyway, my homework did not go well, so. <laughs> I'm so sorry, mm -hmm. Becca. Let's let's cleanse that palette with some uh, Ace Attorney. How was that transition? Please rate it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, that would be like a f six. <laughs> <laughs> Out of. What, what scale are we working with here? <laughs> a ten. Aww. <laughs> I love how this could have gone so many different ways. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait. I just... <laughs> I, th I was anticipating you saying five because you... <laughs> you're oh, so you're nice to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was anticipating... I was anticipating... Passing grade. I was anticipating Congrats. you saying six out of five. So then I was like, aw, thank you so much. And then I was like, wait. The <laughs> 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 Ren did not I say five, Ren said um, ten. <laughs> I did think that your aw was a bit, you know, um, didn't quite match, but I was going to, like, you know, yeah. let it be. Like, no, that, that, that was, it, it, that it, was nice. Cause, <laughs> that's because I was misinterpreting it. It was like an aw, thank you, <laughs> instead of an aw, fuck. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I expected you to be mad, but that's fine. <laughs> Listen. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Fuck. I thought you were worried Ren would say out of 100. I would never. Ren would never. I, I mean, would actually, never. I shouldn't say that. I cannot know Am anyone I? other than myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, depending on what you do. Listen, yeah. I, I mean, it depends on how many... Um, uh, double entendres I make uh, during the oh, stream. <laughs> Depending what I think would be funniest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I make uh, double entendres that Ren doesn't approve of, then I'm in hot water. <laughs> No, I was going to say, uh, uh, depending on what I think is funny, this is in like, even if you've done nothing, mm. if I think it's funnier to say <laughs> out of a... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's not even it does it's not even dependent on my behavior it's dependent on the setting <laughs> oh god oh i keep forgetting this case is taking place in the middle of fucking december do you remember remember the 20th, the 20th morning, 20th morning of december, december. <laughs> no <laughs> okay. day two court is now in session all right Oh, this reminds me though. Hi. Oh. <laughs> uh, I suppose we should uh reconvene the trial of Solomon Starbuck or something. <laughs> Is he still scared? <laughs> oh, He's right. So the courtroom scared. blew up last time. Never mind. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> uh, bitch, Your Honor, could could you please come out from under your bench? No. There, there are no more bombs, I promise. How do you know? <laughs> oh, I guess, uh, my apologies. She just appeared! <laughs> yeah, still I... a little jumpy when it comes to trials involving bombs. Well, this one, uh, oh wait, this did involve two bombs, never mind. Mm -hmm. I mean, first the courtroom exploded. Yeah, you don't have to flash back, game. And then... Mr. Tenate self-destructed. I'm shocked he isn't dead. I guess that's one way of describing what happened to Tenate. Anyway, <laughs> it seems that I Mr. will never Justice recover. Was... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> it seems that Mr. Justice was seriously wounded by Mr. Tenate's actions. Your thing. As was my heart. So you, Mr. Wright, will be taking up the defense. Do you have an understanding of what has happened in the trial so far? Yeah, I was like a week break, buddy. <laughs> uh, yes, bitch, your honor. The defense is ready. 
Very well. Is the prosecution also ready? Hi. <laughs> he nodded. I take it you'd like me to give the opening statement this time? Oh my god. <laughs> it looks like the judge has become, pretty good, uh, become a pretty good mind reader. Well, he's certainly seen more than his fair share of colorful prosecutors. You could say he's something of a veteran of sorts. I feel like Simon's now like trained him. Like you know when you when you're yeah. teaching a dog how to do tricks, but now you can you can now teach them how to do it with just a hand signal. That's what it feels like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he just he just jerks his head a certain way, and the judge is like, "Oh, I see. Oh, I need to give oh, the opening boy. statement." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not the psychology prosecutor for nothing, or whatever they call him. I can't remember his title. Simon says. <laughs> Let's see. In the previous part of this trial, we learned that the victim, Clay Taran, escaped from Launchpad 1 carrying the defendant, Solomon Starbuck. There were explosions on the second floor of the Space Center and on the rocket itself. The two astronauts used the Launchpad 1 corridor to reach the boarding lounge. And? How could the victim climb down the ladder if he was carrying the defendant? That was the mystery that needed to be solved. And the one that I don't think we solved at all during our investigation yeah. yesterday. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but Mr. Justice proved that the victim was killed in the boarding lounge. Prosecutor Blackwell, were you able to discover any new facts related to this point? Upon further investigation, we discovered an oxygen tank fragment in the lounge. Okay, so it did explode there. Surprisingly, it would appear that Justice Dono's argument was correct. Surprisingly, my ass. I'm always right. <laughs> You're not here! <laughs> I am in spirit! Uh, he's here in spirit. You took a leave of absence. You revoke your here in spirit. I'm in, I'm, in the, I'm in the gallery eating peanuts with the rest of the common folk. <laughs> okay, go get those peanuts. No! <laughs> you would deprive no. an injured man of his peanuts? The Let's peanut finish. gallery, he has to eat them. Yeah! Else he, <laughs> else he has to leave. Anyway, Trucy, um... will you give me some of your peanuts? You don't want to ask about it to have some of mine. He gets enough on your nut. Fuck me running. <laughs> What the fuck? That that was when the judge really needs to exert his authority and be like, order the court. Gallery needs to shut the fuck up. <laughs> the gallery will restrain themselves. <laughs> Uh, Athena oh. runs over to the gallery and high fives Trucy, I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then she runs back. Fuck. Uh. <laughs> okay, um... So, so that means the testimonies of the first two people on the scene are suspect. There were two people who claimed to be the first one on the scene. But can we really trust their testimony? Let's see! <laughs> the two people... <laughs> the two Apparently people were the cowboy of power hour. <laughs> <laughs> where Detective can disarm, uh, fit up... <laughs> anyway, uh, and Yuri Cosmos, right? <laughs> you think that one of them might have given a false statement to the police? Yes, it's certainly possible. We might have to do a little bit more digging. And then we did it. <laughs> and then we did it. <laughs> oh fuck! Now it's for real! 
I won't be a cowboy, baby. Oh, baby. I won't be a cowboy. Cowboy. <laughs> I love the I love the chorus of I want to be a cow. Too. It's like I, it starts in a round. It's just yeah, a it's, round it's of, of the it same phrase. Like just, we said in the pre in the in two cases ago, we it's it's our it's our call signal. It, you know? it is it is our our uh, sleeper agent uh, code yeah. word. That was on me, Adam. You are correct. I I as I was saying it, I had the feeling. Uh, I got a feeling. <laughs> that we'll tonight's the gonna instant. be a good <laughs> night. Uh, okay, Cowboy Kit, you have to say the line. I do. I am just as our team was about to cross examine Detective Arm. The courtroom bombing. Oh, the dangerous, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Can disarm <laughs> fit up your ass if you don't shut up? <laughs> <laughs> and the trial was put on hold. Yes, I, I'm aware my eyes are not visible and they will remain so. I'm in mourning. <laughs> what are you mourning? Apollo's absence. <laughs> He's Fair here enough. though. I know he ain't dead. I mean, he is dead. Sorry. <laughs> We're dead. We're dead. This is this is how you you explain that. It's yes. Oh my god. Sarah I would lying. never fuck I the queen. I need to save my fucking life, Kit. Go ahead. And you've just harmed me in this way. That accursed fellow. He killed my witness. He killed Detective Arm. I like that what you're <laughs> mad about is the fact that he killed a witness, not that a human being's life was snuffed out. But you live yeah, in the, the clank of life. Athena, what does that sleep. word mean? What what word what word? This word you're about to say. Uh, uh, uh You know what she was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> she, he's reading my teleprompter that that wizard is putting out. Wizard, sometimes I get bored when when it's not my turn to speak. Yeah. Uh. Well, let me say the line first, and then I'll explain what it is. Uh, he definitely put the kibosh on anyone asking about her. When what you saw, and kibosh is like a kebab, you know, and you stab people with kebab. What? So, so yeah. No, I it don't. means it means to decisively end or reject something. No, I'm pretty sure ah. it means kebabs that you stab people with. No, I don't know. I, I went to college where they definitely teach you the things that you're supposed to learn on your homework. And shockingly, whatnot. shockingly, nobody knows where this word came from. I thought for a second it sounded kind of Yiddish, uh, but apparently it's not confirmed to Yiddish. Its earliest use was probably in an Irish neighborhood in London in the early 1800s. How about that? Wow. But apparently yes, it is not you, definitively though. Yiddish, yes. though it does sound very similar to some other Yiddish words. You are correct. It is. All right. Exactly. Sorry, sorry, prosecutor. Go ahead. No, I I do enjoy learning about new words. Look. Exactly. In other words, the question of who killed the victim in the boarding lounge has once again become the main focus of this trial. It's obvious Prosecutor Blackwell still thinks it was Mr. Starbuck. Fulbright said that Blackwell has a thing against the astronaut. Nevertheless... The defense argues that there is a third person in the lounge, and that's who killed the victim. Objection! Thank you for Objection. the clip, Sarah. Uh-huh. <laughs> to make such reckless claims in, in a courtroom takes a bold man. Or a stupid one. Lucky for you, I'm both. <laughs> you are certainly stupid if you're proud of that. There was no third person in the boarding lounge. Or have you gone dotty already, old man? How do you call it old man? I'm like seven years older than you, Sid. 
That means you're old. We'll see who's the daughter after I trounce you with my years of experience, little boy. Boy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> In any I, I case. Mean, Kate, that's kind of what I'm going for. It's like a mix between Benoit Blanc and uh, just a random preacher or town magistrate from an old west. God, we should really watch Knives Out as a as a community. Ooh. We really should. I've never seen that movie. Oh my god, oh, man, you absolutely should. It was the last movie. It was the last movie I saw. Oh wait, sorry, that's a lie. The last movie I saw <laughs> in theaters before the Panini was Birds of Prey. Uh, but Mine it was, was the also second. Birds of Prey. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Deej! Yeah, we'll have a movie now. We will. Please. In any case. I would like to. Mr. Starbuck claims he saw someone leaving the lounge. Furthermore, a Space Center employee also saw a suspicious figure at the scene. They saw a third person? I want- I, here's, here's my homework assignment for next time. I want someone to get real good at scat singing. It's Holy shit, it's Friday. Oh, thank you, Adam. That was fun. Can believe it. Friday, 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 <laughs> See what I mean? Just, See what I mean? Just <laughs> on that word. Goodness. What uh, the yeah. hell? Go, go <laughs> ahead, Mr. Blackwell. What, uh, what were you about to say about your lovely woman of a sister? Look. <laughs> My sister is a oh. bitch. And I love her, but she is a bitch. <laughs> she is a hoe and a bitch. We met her yesterday. So you know. We know. She we is do indeed. I, w I would like to um, <laughs> her head like a, like a grape. Um, just, you would just, like to uh, what? Her uh, head like a grape? Uh, pop, pop her head Please. like a like a grape. What the hell? Uh, uh, I'm feeling that you're going to be in this corner. Please thanks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh... I see my sister has been running her mouth. Uh, that, uh, that's right. I almost forgot that Aura is Black, Prosecutor Blackwell's sister. No matter. She didn't see this <laughs> mystery person's face clearly. <laughs> oh, is that the guy who cusses a lot? Oh my god. Mac, you're officially the guy who cusses a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, I like, I mentioned that to Alan, and I just like put my head in my hands. Like, I, I, didn't make I can't. Laugh, but I was like, oh, oh my god. Lord. <laughs> oh, kind no. of first oh. to a child. <laughs> You've been oh, called god. out by a child. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'm so sorry, oh, man. Yeah, Jerry, also, I'm shocked I don't so have that title. <laughs> Both you and you and your children are still listening to this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, are I, they? I do. I do worry about this. <laughs> not to. <laughs> I not to declare. I, I do worry about this. <laughs> not to sound like an exorcist or a ghost hunter or nothing, but are Dean and Daphne still in the room with us? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, being a Twitch streamer is a lot like being a ghost hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you ain't got no. <laughs> when nobody shows up to the street. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> Fuck. You are the kid. Okay, good. <laughs> Everybody say shit. Fuck. All right now. Fuck shit. Fuck shit. Fuck the murderer shit. was Phoenix Wright. Ace <laughs> Attorney. Okay, sorry. Continue. All right. No, 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 no. It's Phoenix White. Phoenix White. 
Okay, with that, I'm going. I'm gonna end Cabo a minute for Simon. Okay. It has your name. It uh, listen, yeah, it overstayed its welcome. <laughs> <laughs> No matter. It didn't see this mystery person's face clearly. Therefore, there is no evidence to indicate that this person was not the defendant. Hmm. I guess the possibility that the figure was Mr. Starbuck is still there. In brief, we need to determine if a third person was there or not. To this end, we should hear the testimony of one of the first people on the scene. Oh lord, Becca, oh, you're up. Boy. You're up, Becca. Yeah. Director Cosmos, huh? Very well. Bailiff, please bring the witness to the stand. Brynn wins um, inflicting her wrath upon me. <laughs> oh, Brynn, oh, oh no, is she doing the... Is she batting at you? Yes. No! Oh, no. <laughs> Did it again. <laughs> Branwyn, <laughs> please. Goddess of violence, please spare Mac. <laughs> Hi, Angry. Frankie. Please stop being brain brain green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard her. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no. Fuck. Do you, do you need a moment to deal no, with no, the no, Frankie? No, no, that was exactly which I like. I said. She needs to get angry, angry before she about eats, something. so that's exactly what she needed. There we go. Okay, good. Yeah, she's <laughs> eating now. Yeah. Well, I believe <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry, what? Hmm? What did you say? Oh, I thought Kit said something. Oh, anyway. I didn't say anything. Oh. Well, Someone I, else I is believe funny. I've seen you before in the newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> You have. Of course you have. I am Yuri Cosmos. Director of the Cosmos Space Center. Which was, of course, named after me. Yuri Cosmos. <laughs> Amazing. I like the oh idea God. that this legitimately was like the Yuri. I can't remember his last name, but the Yuri who is the first person in space. <laughs> it is. It was me. Exactly that. Don't you have anything you wish to ask me? Maybe like he's all here to, to do some bragging. Yeah. Seven years ago, I successfully successfully launched the Hat One and. <laughs> wow, you stopped his theme music, Simon. Everyone already knows how brilliant you are. Okay, j just very small sidebar, but someone. Once referred to Simon Blackwell as a twink. What? Hello. And like, mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. did you even for a second think that this man is so like, I the he's yowie like, hands. He's extremely Dorito shaped. Like he is. <laughs> he's like he's a twonk at best. You know, or at that worst, is, yeah. At like, worst, he's a twonk. At <laughs> worst, he's a twonk. He's like, I mean. If you look at Miles and Phoenix at certain points, but Simon is Yowie Hans McGee, guys. I don't yeah. know what to tell you. <laughs> He's also a very wide Yowie man. Hans also, McGee. I don't know that you can be a twink if you're taller than six foot. I don't I don't no. think. No. <laughs> yeah, no. You have to be a short king to be a twink. Exactly. Yeah. I was like, well, uh, you could be like, you know, 5'11". In a twink, yeah. That's what a kind of thing. It's really like delicate, even if you were really tall. Like, yeah, you could be really like like uh, yeah. Wayfish. But but yeah, like, wayfish. Simon is but not. But he's not that wayfish. Not. He's, 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 like, he's like a that's thing. He's, no, I'm not talking about Simon here. <laughs> no, just like I understand, but I'm also like thinking like even if this man was very scrawny under his formidable outfit. He wouldn't want to diagnose himself as twink. <laughs> yeah, he would not self-identify. He makes it, himself look bigger to defend against predators. Adam, we're, 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 debating, we're debating a person I once saw who, uh, specifically, it was in the context of uh, Black Madhi, the ship between, that's uh, Simon and Nayuta, um, who's the prosecutor from the sixth game. They specifically, uh, 
described the pair of them as a pair of twinks. And I was like, what? (laughs) Have you seen Simon? (laughs) I'll have to show that video to you guys sometime because I did think it was very funny, but there are also lots of spoilers in it. It was like, uh, it was like one of those, like, it it was like one of those, like, uh, uh, what what does you liking this ship say about you videos? <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, so what you're saying is, Ren, look forward to Simon Blackwell flirting with you next game, I guess. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> kind, okay. Of a, kind of weird after being his sister, but you know, it's cool. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, we're not gonna think about. That. R.I.P. R.I.P. <laughs> Wait, what's a twonk? I've only heard a twonk. <laughs> mm. I don't know. I had a twonk. Me neither. If I thought it was just twink and twonk. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was yeah. just twink and twonk. It's twink, twonk, twonk, twonk and hunk. I'm oh, no, sure. sorry. I... If we misspoke, Adam, we were talking about twinks and twonks. Yeah. I'm... Wait, guys, now we're doing the It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia bit. Oh. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Yeah, okay. Continue. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Even I am trying to hold back my tears at seeing such a great man standing before me. Why do you have to suck the Stan's dick all the time? <laughs> It's because I get them to suck their own dick by doing it. (laughs) It's it's totally incredible. (laughs) Isn't that physically impossible? No. Not if not if Blackwell breaks their third (laughs) their final (laughs) rhythm set. Okay. It's incredible. He's (coughs) he's removed my third (laughs) rib. The transformation's complete. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of my favorite, like, elementary school folk myths. <laughs> but continue. Okay. So could you please proceed directly to your important testimony? Yeah, I want to tear it apart. <laughs> I think it's fine. It's a proper appreciation for greatness! Then allow me to begin my epi- uh, epic- epical- Epical. <laughs> Epa- epical, sorry. The L was like a T. <laughs> <laughs> Epo chat! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, about, that's what I thought it said. Uh, <laughs> then allow me to begin my epical. Epical, goddammit, testimony that is <laughs> recorded in the, in the annals of history. It's actually annals. <laughs> in the annals of history. Annals of history. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to I wanna, I wanna say that I told myself all this week that I was going to really practice this Russian accent, that I was going to look up videos and like really, really <laughs> put my all into doing an incredible Russian accent because that's what you guys deserved. And then you want, you want to know what I did? Not that. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm anyway. I apologize. You're just no, kidding. I love it. I love it. Uh, <laughs> it's, good. it's great. It is great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, DJ. Glad you like it. <laughs> we love it. Uh, Continue. <laughs> literally, Becca, we were talking about you yesterday because we were talking about your Robin. Uh, yeah. Voice what and how we do? just love it. Do a version of the Did I miss that party stream? Reflection. Oh my god. I'll have to clip I it love, of just it was I the love. Becca praise hour. Yeah. We love that. We love because it. Becca, yeah, you knocked it out of the park with Robin. You're knocking it out of the park every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. I keep, I keep um, retrieving him all the time. Like, I have to get my new golf cart. I, I miss, every day I miss playing Robin Newman. <laughs> I wish every character could be Robin Newman from now on. <laughs> <laughs> it might be hard on your voice. Oh, I don't fucking care. It was so much fun. I, like, I, I cannot wait till when we get to this game's credits and Robin Newman will inevitably show up in the end credits because they always do that shit. And no, I can't okay. wait for can't it. Wait. The, the, fi- the final hurrah of Robin right. Newman. 
Yeah, Adi just said someone wanted you to sing Reflection as Robin Newman. When will my reflection... <laughs> when will my reflection show? <laughs> okay. Did you guys hear about how I spent months trying to master a Scottish accent for a character in The Great Ace Attorney only to find out that she spent English with a Cockney accent? No. And Sarah oh, knew no. all along, oh, Sarah! No. Oh! <laughs> 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 Fuck. <laughs> Adam, you got played like a fiddle. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. I wanna um, I wanna stay on task for at least five minutes. <laughs> Let's try. Okay. okay. Um, ambitious. That speech I, for, for that speech of Prosecutor Blackwell is just now. I am nothing if not ambitious. <laughs> I am a Capricorn. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded more to me like he was poking fun at Director Cosmos. Yeah, he was. It's probably for the best that it sailed right over the director's head. Nothing can sit over my head. Oh, you know why? Because I have the You're incredible right. reflexes. Yeah, and you would catch it. We see. Yeah, you're renowned for that. Thank you. And indeed, I am. Now then, Director Cosmos, the condensed version of your illustrious testimony, please. <laughs> Even the, the judge, judge said we don't have all day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Detective Arm and I rush towards the burning lounge together. We went uh, via the control room and peeked in from there to see what was going on inside. Huh. We saw a figure standing in the middle of the lounge and, and Tehran lying on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's Terran, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I can only imagine the standing figure must have been startled. Hmm. Hmm, I see. So in your testimony, you claim you arrived on the scene after the two had escaped from the launch pad to the lounge. And just after the victim had been killed. Oh, so, uh, the humanity. But what I said, I saw. What I said is what I saw, and what I saw is what Said. <laughs> that sounds too <laughs> reminiscent of uh, Professor Means. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, Cosmos is actually so good. <laughs> if I could do a French accent, Fine. if only. Um, Courageous action to take in the, in the face of such terrifying explosions, wouldn't you say? To save my men, I went personally into the epicenter of danger. <laughs> Risking my own life for sex! <laughs> oh my god, that was great. Kate, I want to point out, when I say no... I, I want us to make it a certain amount of time. I mean, without us going on a five-minute tangent. <laughs> mm. I, I, a 15-second tangent is fine, like this. Yeah. But see, it's ending now, and I'm moving along. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> uh, well, what do you know? Sounds like the director really cares about his men. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> he really cares about his men, Athena. You got that right. <laughs> <laughs> Although it sounds more like he was scared and just out of peak from far away. In the is what is the defense ready to cross examine the witness? Had to give you a little remix. <laughs> yeah, I, I loved it, bitch, Your Honor. Yes, we are. Director Cosmos's testimony is pretty vague. What's, what's with that hesitation? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to press him and draw out more information before I do anything else. Is this the game telling me to press, like, literally every statement? Because I fucking will. Don't try me, bitch. 
I need to quickly go to the restroom. I'll be right back, but continue. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, pissing another man, huh? <laughs> we love to do that in this courtroom. Hold it. Where were you coming from? Where, where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Um. <laughs> you finished my thought, Athena. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're welcome. Um, the sixth floor. We were making our way... We were making sure any stragglers made their way to the fourth floor. The human mind is amazing in the way that it can just fill in the blanks for what you're about to read, and yeah. it's like literally not what was on screen. <laughs> yeah, literally, right? Because that right. happens to me all the time. It's, it's, my brain isn't used to me speaking this quickly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same we heard about Starbuck and Tehran, and her to the third floor lounge. Tehran? <laughs> oh. On, on my... Galactic Scotland, of course. Why do you keep <laughs> calling it galactic? Does it have something to do with space? And it's a Segway, not a scooter. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> of course, it's specifically designed to be used on galactic battleships. We have those? <laughs> uh, I see. Then yes, I of course! Take it, it works in zero G too? Sadly, no. With the current state of technology as it is. Oh, it's for a future battleship, a theoretical one. Hmm. That's a man. It's for galactic battleships, of course. I'm afraid it would just float about and be galactically useless. However, it makes me look super cool. I do say. Well, that's a galactic bummer. You're a galactic bummer! Well, see. I did not say that out loud. <laughs> You do not have to. I am so cool that I can see into people's minds. Don't you know? And all the MCs always have their minds read by everybody else. Ugh. <laughs> so, you rush to the boarding lounge on your space age pogo stick. <laughs> what about this makes you seem like a pogo stick? Um, it has handles. I might not know what a pogo stick is. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen one. And when you got to the scene, what did you see? This dick. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Dick? Full frontal. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, according to this diagram, you didn't have to go through the control room to get to boarding lounge one. It looks like you could have gone there from the southern corridor as well. And why was I thinking they had gone from the Southern Corridor? And that's where... Like, did somebody testify, like, in the previous court uh, day that people had burst in from the Southern Corridor? Wasn't that how they were found, you know? Like, yeah, that's what something? I was thinking. So I'm cu I'm curious where this is going, because this seems entirely contradictory, but... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but in her haste to take the van, rushed ahead of me towards uh, the control room. All I can do is merely follow behind her. I see. So we peeked into the boarding lounge from the control room door and... Hold it! Amazing that you could see that in the dark, too. So you... I have night vision, obviously. I... <laughs> Dark vision, as it were. <laughs> I was about to say! <laughs> <laughs> I can see up to 60 feet in low light, light as if it were a uh, bright light. <laughs> yeah, I see it. I see in color in different shades of gray. It's very cool. <laughs> I can demonstrate now. Turn off the lights, bailiff! Oh, I won't be doing that. I must show up how to be here and do all the best. No, I'd rather the light stayed on right now. The other Jerry's in a mood. Well, clearly, if you turned off the lights, then he wouldn't have to see your face, then, and he would be in a better mood, huh? Wow. Mr. Cosmos, I am not in the mood. Yeah, but respect what the other Jerry said. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, good damn. <laughs> So you couldn't see who that figure was clearly or what they were doing. Um, uh, right, that's me. Um, 
that is okay. The only thing I could tell was that it was a person standing motionless. The defendant moved <laughs> out, Marin aghast at his deed. What other explanation is there? Exactly, Jerry. It's the Jerry with the G, not the Jerry. Oh, wait, you're the Jerry with the G. They're the Jerry's with the J. Yeah. yeah. Except for Geronimo. But, you know. Yeah. Actually, Geronimo is their surname. There's we two have two. made it five minutes. Thank you, Deej. Thank you. Okay, we're going to make it another five minutes. <sighs> we'll so stream without jokes. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just making jokes. It's a thing. Shut yeah, up. It's just we can't go on tangents. We just yeah. can't go on tangents. Yeah. I'm so close, but without evidence, I can't prove that person's a third party. I don't relish in this. And... Okay, but why? Why could you imagine that? Aura Blackwell also saw a suspicious figure in the lounge, but she gave the statement that it was too dark to see the person's face clearly. Did you see this per this figure's face clearly? <laughs> Jerry, this is a case of- this is a court of law! We have to solve the case! <laughs> we can no longer make fun. Also, I think we may have lost Becca. Oh no. Yes, uh, pull back to it. Oh! <laughs> uh, my teleprompter has finally, has finally responded to me. <laughs> okay. Uh, we were waiting no. for the teleprompter. <laughs> Not clearly. <laughs> so, sorry. Oh no! <laughs> 16, 2022. Hold on. Uh, I thought it was only prompted by capital F. <laughs> no! <laughs> the bot doesn't read capital letters. It only reads letters. <laughs> Beautiful, thank you. <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> the lighter they, they were holding in the area around their feet at the time. <laughs> but, other than that, I could see little else. That's why I could see Taran, but I could not see the other person was. So for I'm all you know, that. it might not have been Mr. <laughs> Starbuck, isn't that correct? I would like to believe that Starbuck isn't the type of man who's capable of murder. Objection. Objection. Oh, finally you chime in. When the witness entered the boarding lounge, there was no third person there. But it was dark, like literally nobody. Yeah, like could what if someone tell. was hiding, like a sneaky Let bitch. me finish. Isn't that correct? <laughs> Great space center director. I found the weakest link. It's that every time that Simon pops up and says something, we have to start uh, starting arguments with him. <laughs> yeah. And that's what causes us to go on tangents. <laughs> and then Simon's like, reverse Uno, reverse Uno, reverse Uno. Yeah. <laughs> Simon is our weakest link. <laughs> Yeah, he, he's just so infuriating. Um, that, not um, you, Rand, as Simon. It's just every time we encounter Simon, we just I just want to I just want to argue with him. Yeah, uh -huh. grass, you know. Uh huh. They will never get past Diana. No, <laughs> don't say that. The ultimate challenge, huh? Oh, challenge accepted. <laughs> Okay, continue. <laughs> that, that's right. Only Sternbuck and Tehran were, were there at the time. After we peeked in, the lounge suddenly went dark and the figure vanished. You mean they disappeared? That's odd. Objection! Objection. The reason the figure appeared to vanish is because it was the defendant. When the Ugh. witnesses went looking, he fell to the floor in feigned unconsciousness. <laughs> okay, hold it. 
Hold on. Director Cosmos, did you ever take your eyes off of the scene? Just for a brief second, about as long as it takes for a shooting star to go. For a bullet? Sure, whatever analogy you want to go with. If you took your eyes off the scene, then this third person could have escaped during that time. Sorry, I totally thought I was unmuted. Um, <laughs> all good, all good, all good. It happens. But what escape route could this person have used? The direction opposite the control room, the southern door to the elevators. There's no security lock on that door, so it would have been possible to escape that way. Objection! Objection. Things are possible, right, Dono? Through God? <laughs> I'm God? You the blade. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never heard of that god before. Hmm. I am your new god. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. The real question is, do you have any proof? Ah. Uh, well. Real uh, reversal. Do you have any proof? <laughs> there. Well, yeah. it is apparently in this kangaroo court not my prerogative to provide evidence that is the defendant's <laughs> court. So no bullshit, I will Yeah, say. that is a bullshit, bullshit. Fashion, facet of this court. I said facet. Uh -huh. so, it is um, a fascist reverse. facet. <laughs> it is some fat shit. <laughs> Phoenix, you're right. <laughs> not what I said, <laughs> Athena, but I'll Madonna. take it. Kate, we are all material girls living in a material world. I, that's all I must say on this argument. <laughs> if we are just talking possibilities, we could each profess whatever we'd like. An inmate who used to be a university professor and Luna researcher used to say that there is a kingdom of little green men who live under the surface of the moon. Well, do you know that that's not true? Yeah, no. how do you know that there isn't a kingdom of little green men who live under the surface of the moon? You don't! Because that's we've you don't been to the moon and he has it. Have you dug under the surface of the moon, though? <laughs> Tea? <laughs> Phoenix with the Sailor Moon references? As long as they don't punish us in the name of said moon for what we've done to it. Do we think Sailor Moon hates astronauts? Actually, no, we're not going down this tangent. <laughs> yeah, please stop. That would be Answer that long. question in the comments of this video. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that was for everyone. Of, it's kind of the Phoenix Bride does watch Sailor Moon, right? Because, like, I think... Yeah. does. He's a Sailor Moon fan. I think she loves ast astronauts, honestly. Yeah. Anyway. But I say, where is your proof that this quaint kingdom exists? I know we already said it, but reverse you know, where's your proof that this quaint kingdom doesn't exist? <sighs> He's calling your theory a work of fiction, boss. I'm calling all of us a work of fiction. We were made up by some uh, brilliant minds over in Japan. Listen, we're not supposed <laughs> to be delving into cosmic horror. Oh, right. I guess he's right. I don't have any proof yet. Still. The seventh door was a possible escape route. I better make a mental note of that. Director Cosmos, may I ask you a question? No. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway. Why did you look away from the boarding lounge? <laughs> This is actually another tale the bravery behind that tangent. <laughs> Deej, you should try to draw Nayuta for us. Please, that would be cool. I can I sorry to to this real quick, I just have to say that I just love when Becca laughs as Yuri and it's like the first <laughs> <Yeah>. thing. <laughs> yeah, because, it sounds like coffee. The mic, is still, the mic is still picking up her voice for the first time every time. So yeah. it's like it's like this like really distorted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It's really good. laughs> It's very good. That's what it sounds like every time. It's very good. 
<laughs> Becca, if you've never if you've never looked like listened back to the vods where you've been playing Yuri, you should. <laughs> Oh, uh, the delights would also be a good choice to draw. Ooh, yeah. Ron and Desiree. I miss the delights great. every single fucking day. Yeah, the, they the, are the, so like, good. Please. We miss you too, darling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please come back. Please, please come, come back. back. <laughs> I cannot. I'm visiting my husband in jail. <laughs> <laughs> he got out of jail. Did he get caught again? No, he did... had to serve some time. Did he? Oh. I thought right? I thought because of the double jeopardy rule that he yeah, couldn't. Yeah, he didn't have to. It's because he can't be redone for another time. I suppose time. it's a role play then. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't Fun. that delightful? We're laughing. It's very delightful. It's full of delights. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, Becca, okay. did you say this line? I did not. Okay. It was when Detective Arm saw the figure and raised her gun. And being a great humanitarian protector of mankind, I tried to stop her! What? You're saying Detective Arm raised her gun as soon as she saw the figure? Yes! Oh, I mean, that is cop behavior, but. Yes, exactly! That is what I'm saying! I imagine her instincts as a detective told her they were the killer. How about what? Big behavior! I'm, I think her cop instincts just kicked in. Do you ever stop and think about what a talented group of people are here? There's so much talent and creativity and brain power in this group. On top of being wonderful people. Sorry, not sorry. I'm super happy to call you all friends. Jerry, you're going to make me cry! Jerry! <laughs> Jerry, I can't believe we know you. Such a, a, a talented uh, person full of creativity and brain power. And, like, yeah. the same goes for, like, everybody in this chat right now. Oh my mm -hmm. god. Yeah. Not to be a sap, but I, like, love you all, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, like, I, like, love you, or I'm whatever. So cool love. <laughs> love is stored in the uh, Vibe Hut. <laughs> the Vibe yeah. Hut community. <laughs> hmm. I don't know about that. You don't know. You don't know about the love thing stored in the vibe hut. Oh no, I know about that. I I don't know about Detective Arm raising uh, raising her gun at the uh, defendant. Uh, and were you able to prevent Detective Arm from firing her gun? I'm afraid I was too late. I was unable to stop her. She identified herself clearly, and then. She fired two warning shots at the shadowy figure. Right into his head. He had it coming. He had it coming. <laughs> he only had, had himself to blame. Speaking of a murder ballad, apparently <laughs> Cell Block Tango is listed as a murder ballad. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Full circle. Hmm. This information about Detective Arm's actions sounds critically important. Please add it to your testimony. Oh god, that means we have to we have to present something on it, and I don't know. Uh well, okay, so we We only found one bullet, I guess. I guess that's true. Oh, wasn't the bullet in the glass? So like so what like the angle isn't right or something? Yeah. Well, we found a single bullet along the south wall. But we did not find two. So theoretically, if she had shot twice, right, um, there would be two bullets that we would have found over there. We're still at full health, so I'm going to present this one first. And if it's not this one, I bet it's the bullet hole in the glass. Because I don't, I don't know that she could have shot into the glass from that angle. Do we have the... Yeah. Oh, this isn't the right one. Anyway, I'm gonna try this one. Objection! Oh, this is not it. This piece of evidence clearly exposes the witness's lie. It does? Certainly, your boldness. The defense's boneheadedness. 
<laughs> it's bald headedless, thank you. There's nothing untoward about that evidence, no matter how he blusters. I agree. There is nothing compelling in that evidence. Ouch. Silence, bottom. Well, I'm definitely <laughs> <laughs> losing the co judge's confidence in me here. And credibility is a top. <laughs> You're a top? That surprises you? <laughs> yeah, have you, seen my, that. ha have, my have, have you seen my husband? <laughs> yeah, stop talking about this. My daughter's oh my in the room. I mean, Edgeworth does, is oh! that, but... <laughs> okay, it was the other one. I'm so sorry, Becca. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. How dare you? Never. I'm always right, is the thing. This is happening Except so when often. you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure you were really paying attention to what Detective Arm was doing? Hi, I've returned. <laughs> He's <laughs> revving his engine <laughs> somehow. <laughs> oh, I'm Where are you going, going buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm back again. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. You attacked my words. Words that will someday be written down in history books. <laughs> I like how when we cut to Phoenix, the the revving stops. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think that those exact words will ever be written down in any history books. Only <laughs> the court record. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, could you please explain yourself so that we can all understand? No. <laughs> Some of us haven't been paying attention. <laughs> you say that Detective Arm fired two warning shots into his head. And yet, only one bullet hole was ever found at the scene. I need the fuck. <laughs> only one bullet hole means the gun was only fired once. And yet, Director Cosmos is saying Detective Arm fired two shots. This is really dumb because we... N oh, well, okay. I guess we... I guess the bullet that we found was also like... We were like, oh, it's like much smaller than the standard caliber for... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a .1 caliber gun and that's like... Far smaller than standard. Okay, I forgot that detail. And yet, Detector Cosmos, Director Cosmos, is saying Detective Arms fired two shots. No editor would allow such glaring contradiction into a history book. Objection! Objection. Unfortunately for you, the witness's words are true. He confirmed that two shots were fired from Detective Arm's gun. Jerry, there's no fucking way. Did you know that the guy who invented segways died by driving one off a cliff? Why? Yes. yes. Why? What was he trying to do? <laughs> he fucked around and found out. Apparently. But there was only one bullet hole at the scene. Where did the other bullet hole vanish? Blast! <laughs> <laughs> she has such perfect aim that she fired into the same hole twice. <laughs> oh, you know what? Honestly, we should know that already. It that's what exploded the other oxygen tank. I see. Mm -hmm. You should know that answer to that already. I should. I already came to it independently, but. During the Mr. Wright, what was that? <laughs> 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 Nothing, I just had an alarm set. Sorry. Jeez, that's so unprofessional, Mr. Wright. Come I on. Know, I'm turning them off. Listen. No, I'm not going to listen. During the previous trial, a certain oxygen tank was presented as evidence. We've already discussed that it was raptured in the lounge, have we not? Well, it appears that the thing that ruptured was a bullet. A bullet that was found near the tank, to be precise. Precise, yeah. 
This bullet was fired from a .38 caliber gun, the same caliber as the detective's gun. What? Phoenix, why did... Also, Phoenix without the eyes is terrifying to me. <laughs> yeah. uh, specifically the 3D model. It was fine when he was 2D and pixels. Now it's not okay. <laughs> 3D has just like such an interesting vibe. It's got like this uncanny valley to it in some uh -huh. way. That's just like, uh -huh. I don't like it. Like, like Apollo's shocked face in 3D is like, ugh. It's too, yeah, it's too rubbery. <laughs> yeah. The rifling marks also match up. You mean the ballistic markings of the gun? You mean the fingerprints of the gun? Yes. You mean, I mean the ballistic like... markings that are like the fingerprints of the gun? Yes, I do mean the ballistic markings. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Athena. We made Prosecutor Blackwell say ballistic markings. Nice! Nice! <laughs> they high five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I coughed. I, I laughed while I was spit down my throat. <laughs> <laughs> There's no question that the bullet was fired from Detective Arm's gun. Okay, but yeah, that was a 38 caliber gun. Rifling marks. <laughs> they were like the gun's fingerprints on a bullet, right? <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, uh Ray, were, you were you taking a sippy? Were you taking a sippy? No, I wasn't taking a, a sippy. Well, you're taking a sippy? Are you sure maybe, you weren't maybe, taking maybe a Maybe you should. Maybe you should be taking a sippy if you're in, in your coffin. Yeah. You should, you should take was, a sippy. You got to take a sippy every now and then, then. Oh, you just taking gotta, a sippy, you will, uh, a sippy. you will dehydrate. Yes. Uh... <laughs> 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 Twenty-two. <laughs> <laughs> so in chaos. It's a Friday once Take again. Take a sippy on the Friday night. No. <laughs> After this, let's start. Right, Mac has a podcast as well. Yes, I've only watched half of the latest episode. It's good. <laughs> I think we are we are hitting a new record for uh, Fridays triggered. <laughs> it's because now people know to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, here's the thing: they knew what to do before. Every every week, I said it. There was a command. It was exclamation mark Friday, and it would do the same exact thing. But then I changed it. And yet, it. we don't need to do the exclamation mark anymore. Exactly. Friday. I changed it to just Friday. Why? Because <laughs> I wanted to sow chaos. <laughs> Congratulations, you did. Yeah, you did. I did it. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Success was had. And it's oh, it's not a cool band. No, I know it's not. My, it. I was just on a lag. I was on a lag. <laughs> it's a Friday. Guys, yeah, there is no cool down to Fridays. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, I do think really quick we should take a break. Hey. Because it's been two hours. Okay. So. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> yeah, let it. Let us take a. Let us take a quick break. Um, we can. I uh, need lunch. I need lunch. I actually might try and make myself a quick dinner, real quick, but not real slow. Yeah, have the raffle while we're gone. Um, we'll see y'all in uh just a little bit.
Okay, I'm back. Oh. Hello. Hi. Hello. Did I mute the stream? No, it was just quiet. Okay. Is everybody else back? Most importantly, is Rand back? Uh, while Hi. We Hi. Um, while we were gone, I tried. Um, I tried and kind of failed to make. Um, I don't remember the word for this, at least in uh, Vietnamese, which is the cuisine that I was introduced to this to. But it's like. I've seen a couple of like TikToks slash YouTube shorts on it where it's like you put rice paper in a pan um, and you crack an egg over it and like scramble Ooh. the egg over top of the rice paper and then like add whatever like toppings you want and then you fold it over sort of like an omelet and it becomes like this crunchy almost like a quesadilla but like <laughs> instead of a tortilla and cheese it's uh, rice paper and egg. <laughs> Um, that sounds really good. It does. So I was trying to make it. Uh, apparently, I fucked something up because uh, the rice paper was sticking to the pan Oof. when I tried maybe to flip it. Maybe you need to it. oil it first. Maybe I didn't see any of them do that, but maybe I need to do that. But I still have. I have a scrambled egg kind of mess here, so it still tastes good. It still tastes good. Um. What's my beverage disaster of the night? This is less of a disaster than normal. This is a blueberry sage brush. Shrub. Shrub. That's the word. I keep getting them mixed up. It's a blueberry sage shrub mixed with hibiscus gin hibiscus and tonic hello. water. Yeah, or, sorry, not tonic water club showed up. Welcome nice. in. Well, thank very you. Good. It does sound good. At the start of the story, I thought you were going to tell us about a drink mistake you made. Not this time. It was a it was a culinary mistake this time. So, what happened? I tried to make. Have you seen those um, uh, recipes? That's like right. You put rice paper in a pan. And crack an egg over it and scramble it and then put like whatever like little toppings you want on it and then you fold it in half and then the rice paper gets like really crispy. No. Okay. It looks delicious. I'll send you a TikTok after this or something. No. Um but I tried to make it, but the rice paper like stuck to the pan. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, so it I it just... was not uh it was not cleanly folding over when I tried to fold it over, so. Oops. Okay. Oh, well. Anyway, let's continue, though. And examining the rifle marks on a bullet can tell us where the gun was fired from. One of the bullets the detective fired found its way into the holographic image display. The other bullet came to a stop near the victim's oxygen tank. Oh no. Is the fucking holographic image display gonna come into play later? <laughs> <laughs> Where it's like gonna show it was showing something oh? that somebody else may have seen, and then the bullet like uh, glitched it? Like, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. I just think it's very like like that is that seems like a deliberate detail that it was a holographic image screen. Mm. Like um, yeah, they they had, into. they had specifically pointed put, out that mm. like whenever we were introduced to the screen that like we had a whole like conversation about it and stuff. Yeah. Like did she think she was firing at somebody? Oh shit. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You're much smarter, right, if they end up not doing that. Because that was just right there in front of them. I mean, this. we already knew that. Uh, we're already better editors than whoever edited this game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. The evidence confirms the director's statement that the detective fired two shots. 
my beautiful contradiction. Gone. All gone. Magic, really? So, that bullet hole is from the 38 caliber, huh? I'd better update the record. Very good. Now we know both the fate of the shots detective. Wait, now we know the fate <laughs> of both of the shots detective arm fired. <gasps> Mr. Wright, does that clear up all of your questions? No, where did the third bullet come from? Hmm. Detective arm fired two warning shots. One hit the holographic display and the other hit the oxygen tank. Does that really clear up everything about what happened at that scene? Uh, no it doesn't. <laughs> no, bitch, your honor, it doesn't. <laughs> Detective Arm fired two warning shots from a thirty-eight caliber gun. That doesn't explain the existence of a certain piece of evidence found at the scene. A piece that points to the existence of a third person. Oh. Very well. But it won't do to keep us waiting, Mr. Wright. What piece of evidence suggests the possibility of a third person at the scene? And this bullet! And what is this metal pellet supposed to be? <laughs> Just a little something of great importance we found at the crime scene, bitch, your honor. You found it where? In a floor gutter at the crime scene. It looks like the police and prosecution both missed it. Furthermore, this is a 10 caliber bullet, making it much smaller than one of Detective Arm's 38 calibers. Th then that means. Exactly! One more person must have been there in the lounge. A third person who had a gun that could fire 10 caliber bullets. What if the third person had a gun? What if the third person? <laughs> we what gave the third was, person a gun. What if it was um uh Aura's little pistol thing? Oh but my god, could, that like, it actually. <laughs> she could like, she could replace it with, you know, instead of the. With a different stuff. like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Fuck. And if that's true, it explains why Detective Arm fired warning shots. Also fair. The third person fired at Detective Arm and Dr. Cosmos with their gun. And in return, the detective fired her warning shots. Isn't that how it really went down, Director Cosmos? It looks like you did your time breaking this town survival! What if we gave Robert a gun? <laughs> oh no. That you're absolutely correct. The mystery person fired a bullet! What, what, what's this now? Robo 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 What? You have breathed a word of any of this to me before. Why would I? To be a fun twist. No. <laughs> no. You do not have twists in a courtroom. <laughs> well, it's always that that way in this in this cake of course I wanted to participate. Uh, oh, what is the <laughs> secret? Who don't you know? Oh, the short geezer. So Director Cosmos really has been hiding the presence of a third person all along. Director Cosmos, I want you to testify to the court about what you really saw. You may be a very great man, but in my courtroom, you are just another witness. Humble him, bitch. <laughs> you won't receive special treatment here. Now please give accurate testimony. I don't, <laughs> don't want to ask again. But he will. Mark your oh. words. Uh, hey, Bitch Your Honor, uh, what will you do if he doesn't give accurate testimony? Um, probably shit my pants. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say ask very nicely. <laughs> 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 Fuck.
The Ichabar Meta rushed into the control room together. In the lounge, we saw a figure standing in the middle of the room, and Taran on the floor. We were standing, uh, we were still in the control room to the east when the figure fired at us! Hmm. Hmm. Given that there was no third person in the lounge when the witness entered it... Does this mean the person who fired the gun had to have been the defendant? Also, well, no. Kate, I'm wearing sweatpants. <laughs> um, well, and now I am uh, curious where this is going because we didn't find a bullet or anything on that side of the room, did we? Yeah, it was on the opposite side. Because it, it was like in that gutter. great thing. Yeah, in it was great. in that gutter. Thing. Yeah. It could have rolled. That's a far way to That's a far it's, distance. It's, like, it's a far way it's, to It's a point. What did it? How how big was it again? Didn't we? Do, it was ten. It's ten like point small. one. Yeah. Yeah, it's tiny. Not necessarily. It's still possible that it was someone else. Most likely, as soon as Detective Arm and Director Cosmos discovered this person, they escaped through the southern door, the one that didn't have a security lock. Objection! Objection! Double-edged swords are a tricky lot. Mishandle one, and it is you who is cut down. Uh-huh. Your reasoning could apply if Space Boy were the killer as well. Space Boy. Wow. <laughs> Think about it. After being discovered, he could have fired the 10 caliber gun. Detective Arm would have responded by firing two warning shots. All he had to do was feign unconsciousness to invent the possibility of a third person. Objection! But Mr. Starbuck didn't have a gun in his possession when he was found by police. Nor has a gun been found at the crime scene. Its absence can only be explained if there was a third party who took it with them. Objection! Objection! Recall the existence of a trash chute in the boarding lounge. Ooh, we did look at that, didn't we? <laughs> ah. The defendant could have simply thrown the gun down the chute. Objection! Objection! But you can't deny the possibility of a third person leaving with the weapon. Objection! Objection! It's up to you to prove that possibility. Is it? Like we said half an hour ago. Is it really? Kangaroo caught, bitch. Fuck. And I trust you haven't forgotten my little piece of decisive evidence. I absolutely have, bitch. It's been two weeks. Well, I'm gonna fucking remind you. <laughs> <laughs> Why? The detonator switch that was found in Mr. Starbuck's pocket, naturally. The most compelling evidence of all that tells us he is the culprit. Ah! I did forget all about that. It's been two weeks. <laughs> Welcome back, Becca. Welcome back, Look Becca. your boldness. How deliciously obvious it is that they lack the evidence to rival mine. Moin. Moin. <laughs> Wow, he sliced our third person theory to ribbons and served it to us just like that. Like a bowl of noodles. Yeah. Or a bunch of roasted vegetables. Yeah, that I have well... currently. Anyway. Or maybe a bowl of french fries. <laughs> or maybe a bow bow. <laughs> or maybe some risotto. <laughs> or maybe a rice bowl. We're gonna let Max speak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but maybe it was more like a sushi roll. I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, bitch, your honor. Go ahead. I've got a question. Yeah? That bullet that the mysterious figure shot, what did it hit? <laughs> me i love how they've like 
introduced a Von Karma uh, plot twist. We have to get a freaking metal detector again. Right. Oh boy. The bullet just <laughs> fell in my shoulder. <laughs> so, so does that mean you're a, a, a ghost? Oh my god! How was okay, it? Okay, Shaggy. <laughs> I was wondering when you would realize it, your boldness. But how did you know? <laughs> Director Cosmos is an authentic butterfly <laughs> ghost. He can even pass through walls. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Blackwell, you can't. Can Simon, Simon, you can't play with him like this. He can't take I it. I can and I will. <laughs> <laughs> Objection! Ow! Prosecutor Blackwell, shame on you for teasing the nice old gentleman. Is he nice? I think he's kind. Is he Does a gentleman? I'm just kind of stupid. I mean, I, I mean, I'm not dumb, dumb but like yeah. a bad guy. <laughs> we love picture on her. Boldness, it was all in jest. <laughs> Please show yourself again. Okay. Seven. <laughs> Oh, oh no! <laughs> 2022. And if you. Yeah. If you can, can you guys believe it? I don't know what day it is. It's a Friday. I sure neither do. Oh, right. It's a Friday once again. Uh huh. Thank you so much, David Lane. David Lynch should come on stream for how many times this play. David damn. Lynch, come on but, as a guest to the stream challenge. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm confused. I thought it was a Saturday. No. It's true. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ren. It may be, it, uh, Australia may recognize it to be Saturday, but that's a falsehood, and your government has been lying to you this whole time. Um, <laughs> It's a Friday, oh, actually. Oh my god! Sixteen. <laughs> 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 and are if you really? can believe it. Can handle this. Oh this my is god! Fucking incredible. It's a again. Once again. <laughs> I get. You're right. It is a Friday once again. <laughs> Thank you. Guys. Friend of the stream, David Lynch. Exactly, Kate. Uh, I don't we need think it. we're we, even that far into this current we need trilogy. What we need is a hashtag to get David Lynch to come on the stream. <laughs> so I want everyone to put their efforts towards concocting the perfect hashtag to get <laughs> David Lynch to come onto the stream because he is a friend of the stream, even though he doesn't know it yet. Yeah. It's on the parasocial relationship. Ren, let's quit her sock. Hashtag friend to the stream. How did you manage to survive being shot, Director Cosmos? He didn't. <laughs> I'm oh. trying to tell you that. <laughs> it sounded like it sounded like Mr. Krabs was passing by in a fast-moving car. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I am glad I asked. Actually, it was a mirror. A miracle defeating a great. Oh, please. Why? Such as myself. <laughs> so, hit my glory, special honor. We're by a ricochet, thus saving my life. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What? Wait, what oh. did it ricochet against? His medal of honor. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, shouldn't it have embedded, it, embedded itself in there rather than ricochet? Right, I don't. That, that's I so. uh, uh, but, uh, un unbelievable in multiple I say games. nothing but the trust. I have to check this out. Oh wow, well, look at that. There's one extra Asa star. I forgot what we were calling it for a second. <laughs> the odds it's Asa. are literally astronomical. Thank you. 
guess it really was a miracle. I was beginning to really feel like the cosmos was watching out for Dr. Cosmos. But why did you conceal this information, Director Cosmos? No, DJ, it's oh, good that we- Oh, the glorious! Oh, something, I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but I forgot who was. For the glory of Mother Russia! <laughs> clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Director Cosmos is a tank, he confirmed. Um, <laughs> look, exactly, at least, exactly. At least we don't have to grab a metal detector. Well, and that's good too because Gumshoe's the only person who has a metal detector and he doesn't exist and, in this game. Yeah, and all of so. California. Yeah. Oh. Hi, have I returned? Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. Hello. Hello. Um, a great man such as myself has to hide things on occasion, no matter how much it hurts. It is the plight of the truly great. It may be hard for this generation to understand. I don't know, but it sounds fishy to me. What else is he hiding? He just wants to sound dramatic and stuff. Oh, let's just cross-examine him and see what we can find out. He's admitted on several occasions that he hides things just to just for the plot of things or whatever. Yeah. So like Now then, Mr. Wright, your cross examination, a please. Okay. Rush into the control room. Saw a figure standing in the room and staring at the I guess I guess this is a contradiction, right? Is like even if he says it ricocheted mm. off of there, how did the b bullet end up in the gutter if they were standing in the control room? I still don't mm. think they were standing in the control room because I could have sworn somebody's testimony from the previous trial day was like, "Oh, they entered from the south corridor." Objection! Yeah. Oh, hell yes. Hell yeah. Director Cosmos, I believe you are telling this great court a glorious lie. How dare you! <laughs> a great man like me! Tell a lie? Have you ever heard of such a thing in all of history? Have you heard of my dumb ass? I've challenged people greater than you. Fuck off. Uh, my this is absurd. I'm the greatest man alive. Nope. Uh, my accusation is based on the positions of the people who were in the lounge, you see. According to your testimony, you and Detective Arm were near the control room door, and the mysterious figure was standing in the middle of the boarding lounge. If, as you say, the figure fired a gun at you from this position, then the bullet would have traveled in this direction. However, we found the 10 caliber bullet here. No. No. <laughs> this trajectory and where the bullet was actually found contradict each other. Director Cosmos, where were you really when you were being shot at? <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the human merry-go-round. <laughs> Objection. It's a horse tornado. <laughs> Don't tell me you've forgotten already. Didn't the witness himself just tell you? The bullet hit his medal. <laughs> Am I too old, or does anybody else remember those compilation CD commercials from the 90s? No, I remember yes. those. I want to help with Robin Newman sings the sing <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love that. I cannot think of a 60s song off the top of my head, but I would love it so much. Holy shit. Okay, uh, it'd be like, Mr. Sandman, and then back to one. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Send me a man! <laughs> bum, 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 bum. 
<laughs> Car hook, Jarred Man. <laughs> Car hook, yeah, your yeah, heart. Give me, what's the, yeah, yeah, somebody, somebody give me the, give me, give me those lyrics. The, the man me a sand one. Is I'll, it, I'll, is I will it, gladly do it right fucking now. Isn't the Sandman <laughs> earlier than the 60s? <laughs> I just was thinking of stuff that plays at my local diner. <laughs> oh, it was 1954. Okay. Uh, I guess the Beatles? I, oh I guess. Oh my god, the good Beatles. vibrations! Oh, good yes. vibrations? If she, did, if she did good vibrations by the Beach Boys, I would fucking lose my mind. I don't yes. think I know what the song sounds like. Hold on. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> I was about to say, I can't actually play it because I'll get demonetized again. Um, that's why I didn't do the whole I'm thing. trying to stop the- No, okay, listen, covers are fine. <laughs> covers are fine. I just can't play the actual audio. <laughs> There's a genius lyrics of the Man Me a okay. Sand one. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sandman, Man Me a Sand. Make him the cutest <laughs> man to Man, the cargo is high fans. Like Santa's and Hanses. They tell him that his Santa and Hanses are Hanses. <laughs> wow. This is called viral on Tumblr. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, like, uh -huh. Santa man. Santa a man. Don't have those Santas to send a man. Please do not understand the hands. Mr. Sandman. Send me a hand! <laughs> oh god. I, pa I, pa I paused the game audio too late. I wanted to get that clean audio. I, can, I will gladly do it again. Oh my oh god. god. How do we tip? <laughs> Becca puts her PayPal information in the chat. Just like Venmo me 10 bucks here you go. <laughs> Oh, uh, Miss Mr. Basement. Um, okay, what's <laughs> Mr. Basement by 1963? Okay. What? That's something that um Beef sent me. Um, let me fucking give me some lyrics. Come on. I'm on the edge. I what? I don't know what this. Hold up. It's <laughs> don't, don't. This is very important, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Mr. Baseman, you got that certain something. <laughs> Mr. Baseman, you said that you said something. So you it's easy when you go. One, two, three, ba 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 da. <laughs> You mean a papa da da Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was very important. Thank you for your time. While you were doing that, <laughs> I sent more uh, more pictures of the nugget in the animals. No. I would I would love to do this. Do this. I would love to. <laughs> make a video series. I would love <laughs> if my if our family uh, named the kitten Nugget. I would love it if they did that. Is that what they're thinking about? Oh, I don't I don't know what they're thinking about. Uh I haven't even suggested the name Nugget. I think they should just name the the cat chicken nugget. <laughs> they should. Wait, Rand, did you see this <laughs> say this line? <laughs> No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> so I will say it now if you, if you wish. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Of this, there is no mistake. Objection! Objection. But in that case, the bullet should have been found near the east side of the room. Are you trying to say that you can explain this inconsistency? I'm putting the onus on you, bitch. Of course. Please. Fucking liar. I didn't think so. Why? <laughs> I don't believe you. I don't believe you, bitch. Oh, great director Cosmos. Yes, I'm... <laughs> Is there something you'd like me to expound upon? You were, in fact, not in the control room to the east, were you? 
You were looking into the lounge from the door to the south. Is that not right? Oh, God. So now he's like, aha, uh -huh, my trap card. There wasn't a third person because they couldn't know how to get into the control room. <laughs> We've painted ourselves into a corner. <laughs> what are you getting at? This is my reverse autopsy report. <laughs> <laughs> Use Fuck your off. own brain. Your head must have some use other than housing that bird's nest. Bird's nest? My hair is beautiful! He wasn't was picking on your hair. You. Why does everyone pick on my hair? We can't see your hair, Yuri. You got a hat on. Yeah, ho. <laughs> Director Cosmos and the detective witnessed the scene from the southern door. The killer fired at them there, and that is why the bullet was found in the south. Ah, th that makes some sense, actually. I uh, That's it? what I was saying from the beginning, Phoenix. I don't... Mm -hmm. Also, the witness being at the southern door is rather favorable for the prosecution. Uh-huh. Uh, I've got a bad feeling about this, Scoob. How about it, Director? If you don't tell the truth this time... Oh, uh, he did it! <laughs> oh, and... I... <laughs> His handcuffs! You will become but rust upon my sword. I relish the chance to cut down a great man. Okay. Wow, you don't even clean your sword properly? What kind of Yikes. samurai are you? Yeah. I don't have proper care for my sword and the clink. That's just poor management. How yeah, maybe you should try anyway. harder, bro. <laughs> oh, right. I'll tell you the truth. Just put your sword away. <laughs> Why does he have a sword if he's a prisoner? I think it's supposed to be actually his mind sword, not a sword sword. <laughs> it's just obviously his his dick. Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> we were all thinking it. Yeah, we were all. I, I, I was not. I was not. I actually. I gotta say I wasn't, but yeah, <laughs> I wasn't was, until I now. Why did I say it? Listen, the, fa the fact that you all weren't is truly tragic, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate this because that that makes Simon the serial flasher in the court, <laughs> and I don't we like this. No, for worse. I don't think we have no, dealt with words. I wasn't oh. thinking it. I just thought it would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Becca, you were the only one thinking it. God, get your head out of the gutter. <laughs> I re I Put refuse. your mind back in your head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's a really old think? callback. <laughs> That's an old one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Turns out they actually just give him a foam sword just so that he can, you know, <laughs> give him, enri guys, give him guys, enrichment. No, no, yes, exactly. It's like it's like the opposite of when people are supposed to check in their their fake swords at anime conventions. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's heading to the to the court. They just give him the fake sword. Like here you go. Be Sam. <laughs> <laughs> He's like the <laughs> 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 No. Okay. Yeah, it's a stim toy. It, I could see that. It's definitely his stim toy. His stim is specifically <laughs> unsheathing it like a samurai. <laughs> yeah. He likes to do it, and it's really hard to do it when his cuffs are still he, on, so he's like, I have to break this. I have this to. Stim? The stim is the sound, like, you know that sound of, like, a, a sword, like, uh, like, scraping against its sheath as it's being pulled out? That's the stim. Oh. He, he wants to hear that sound and feel that vibration. <laughs> Simon, is that me where they go to unsheath the katana and it's just a hilt? <laughs> Fuck. 
That can that he can throw line. the hill. I have not well. said this line. Okay. Right. Sorry. Go ahead. You're good. You are correct. I am the great Yuri Cosmos. I'm autistic. Impressive. <laughs> 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 Just like the there we go. <laughs> We're looking to the room from the southern. What? I'm so shocked. My it's eyes crazy. disappeared. <laughs> That's the complete opposite of all the testimony he's given so far. Phoenix, get with the fucking Phoenix program! Snort. You how? <laughs> and now you have lost your possibility that a third person was in the room. I have not. They could have jumped out the window, bitch. They could have been in the control room. How far is too. the drop? They could have jumped out the window, bitch. The director and the detective were near the southern door. I will say this again in small words so you understand. Meaning, the killer couldn't have escaped through there. The western door required print recognition. The corridor beyond was filled with smoke. The only escape route left was the eastern control room door. And the only way to get through there was with Director Cosmos's fingerprints. Blech. My bitch. In short, there would be no escape for any third person had there been one. Wait, wasn't it like against ah! the regulations though? If like the only way to exit a certain door is Red, with do like. Do you think this place yeah. is up to code? Do you really think Of course think not! That? I would That's hope- That's very stupid! They are That's an so astronaut stupid. agency, but this is in Ace Attorney world, so no. The, was the trash chute theoretically big enough for a person to jump down? And is there, like, a compactor down there? Good mm. question. Did they escape the compactor in time, just like in Star Wars? What if the robots were involved? <gasps> oh dear, that's so sad. <laughs> Like, uh, what my, if? My third person just di disappeared. Like in one of Trucy's magic tricks. Except this time it isn't cute or funny. Order. Order in the court. Director Cosmos, why did you tell such an outrageous lie? Oh no, I believe you, Kate. Wait, Kate, have you- do you know how this- have you seen Dual Destinies yet? Or are you going in blind? You are covering for the defendant. Isn't that right? No. It was all for the love of my men. If I said I was in the Eastern control room. Yeah, we all know how much you love your men. I love my men so much. <laughs> <laughs> With all of my heart, with all of my soul, with all of my body. Nice, Kate. Oh! <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. And like how you said it, like that was great. That was great. Excellent delivery. I like how I like how Rand is giving like a Yelp review. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rand, I say this. I say this Five with stars. all the love in my heart. I say this with all the love in my oh, heart. No, if no, any of us is a okay, Yelp okay. reviewer, I feel like it would be you. <laughs> yeah. What, me? Uh. In, in the nicest terms possible, I feel like you were a Yelp reviewer. I, I, mean, I, like to I feel like you would give help. reviews to help other people have more information exactly. about the place. Exactly. <laughs> okay. You're not on there being a Karen or whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it would mean the culprit would have escaped through the southern door. It it would have meant that there could have been a third person. Are you sure someone couldn't have just snuck past you in the dark? No, no one can get past me. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, sorry. Excuse me. Your reflexes are too fast. Um, They're too fast. I like it like a snake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted us to protect them. The book. It's from book. <laughs> I 
set up a sensor control room to invent an escape route for a sad person. What a convoluted lie. Was he really covering for the defendant? It looks like we've come to a conclusion. Uh... That the defense's argument, the possibility of a third person, has crumbled. Uh... Wow, wow, wow. Gosh, shit, here we go again. It's over. Yikes! The judge is about to hand down his verdict. Think, Phoenix, think. This is the perfect time to try and turn my thinking around. The third person had no way of escaping the scene. Then what if one of the people at the scene was this third person? Wait, what if the whole premise is all wrong? Director Cosmo said that he and Detective Arm rushed to the scene together. But what if that premise isn't true? What if one of them reached the scene before the other one? And if that person entered the lounge, then they would be the third person. I already know where Phoenix is going with this. We gotta accuse Yuri. <laughs> yep. The defendant mm -hmm. is the only one who could have killed the victim and shot at the director. <laughs> there doesn't appear to be any room for argument against these claims. No. I will now render my verdict. Objection! Objection! Please wait, bitch, your honor. There is still one possibility. Uh, this had better be good, Mr. Wright. Oh, it's good. It's juicy. You're going to eat it right up. There is one and only one person who could have escaped from the scene. And that person would be the first person who arrived on the scene. Then, upon entering the boarding lounge, the second person to arrive came via the southern door. That's why the first person fled from the room. Using an escape route that was accessible only to them. I'm on my old-fashioned bullshitting. Okay, well, let's hear more about that theory. <laughs> who is this one person who could have escaped from the boarding? Clearly! Is, is Mac really quiet? Yeah, yeah, yeah Mac is, like, go. very far away from the microphone. <laughs> I was very, I was very far away from oh, the microphone. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> but, but that's... Mr. Wright, what are you claiming here? Of all the people in all the gin joints in all the world who were at the scene, only the witness could have escaped. The director is the only one with the authority to open the control, control room door, after all. But, but, that, that means... Deej. Deej. You did not just tell me that that was a Fallout boy song. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna make freaking lose it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a line from Casablanca. You uncultured hoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> <laughs> when the lady, offensive, my friend. <laughs> Now we have to watch Casablanca together. Yay! Everyone. Okay, th okay, it was funny though, Deej. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Deej, sir. Deej, um, knowing full well that the, the that Fallout Boy got it from some other source. Oh, you mean like the Fallout Boy song? <laughs> <laughs> and then we can't fucking lose it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what a coincidence that Casablanca and Fallout Boy would think of the same phrase. Casablanca should sue. Uh, honestly, they should. Except I think everyone involved with the production is dead now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just said it was a good song. <laughs> That's a good follow boy song. <laughs> You're right. I did I did infer that you were saying it was the sword. <laughs> uh, listen, sometimes you just have to get uh, fake outraged about a thing. 
Exactly. The true identity of the third person is our current witness. Director Yuri Cosmos! You fucking killed him, didn't you, bitch? Don't lie to me! What? <laughs> what? Athena, you need to calm down. You need to act like this is coming. Like, this is what we do here. You know what? That's totally fair. I, I don't know why. I think it just caught me off guard that it was so quick. Usually it's like in the third half Sir? of the... <laughs> You missed legally bald for She-Hole? How? How could Couldn't you? be me. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. What? Uh, there how? Was what, how here. was? How was She-Hulk? <laughs> Sarah's the victim in our next case, the final case of dual destiny. <laughs> 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 Your return from She-Hulk to Kit hulking out over me not having ever seen Casablanca. <laughs> Hey, it was boring, Kit! What do you think? I'm so sorry, ho. Yeah, you, you missed Robin Newman singing uh -huh. the 60s. <laughs> yeah! There were two songs, two full covers. It was there, there were full covers, but yeah. Don't worry, covers. you can you can still get the get the full covers if you call now. Um uh and and if you call now you will save uh thirty percent off. The full uh, two <laughs> album <laughs> disc um, featuring the greatest hits from the 60s sung by Robin Newman. Um, call the number on your screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Mac? Uh, order! Order in the court, I say. <laughs> Mr. Wright, you will explain yourself in more detail. I won't, actually. Yeah, oh. elaborate on that. No. <laughs> Only 20... 299... Fuck. Numbers. <laughs> 29 95 plus shipping and handling. <laughs> Newman will come to your house and punch you in the fucking face. <laughs> With her voice. <laughs> I assert that Director Cosmos arrived at the scene before Detective Arm and entered the boarding lounge alone. Detective Arm arrived after that and... Uh, this is this is rich on Phoenix's part because Detective Arm isn't here to refute any of this. Yeah. Because <laughs> she fucking died. She fucking died. <laughs> saw a suspicious figure who was actually Director Cosmos standing in the lounge. And that's why she fired those two warning shots. Into his head. I've been hit! I've been hit on the starboard side! <laughs> Captain Wright! It's a direct hit on the enemy ship, sir! A magnificent shot! Oh, are we playing Battlefield now? I didn't realize. Oh no. <laughs> Hi. Carmen's <laughs> cousin is flying in from Charlotte! Hey! We know that nice. place. We know that place. I hate that airport. Good luck. <laughs> I Prepare to intercept! I don't have an opinion on that airport other than I thought it was really weird when I lived in Wisconsin. I had always to fly to that airport to get a connecting flight to Boston. Instead I, yeah. of... It's like, it's always there. It's, it's always like there. And I'm always like, always a connecting flight, and I don't understand it. I don't understand it at all. At all. Cosmos, you have told a lie in this court once again. Oh, bitches have done worse. Uh, I've been hit! I've been hit on the port side! The enemy has called in reinforcements! Kate, that's what I'm saying! Every time I flew from Wisconsin, there were, well, specifically Madison, the cheapest flights would not be Madison to O'Hare to Boston, as one would think. They would always be Madison to Charlotte to Boston. And I'm like, why am I going this far south? <laughs> I'm trying to go northeast. I don't understand this. I almost knocked over my water bottle. I got so Oopsie. impassioned. Yeah. Earth's the Cosmos Control Center requesting permission to ask that you return to reality. No, he knows. He knows we're in a simulation. 
I'm going to make sure we'll not put down to anything less than an ultimate weapon that they're against. Objection! Objection! I've been sloshed the whole time, bitch, your honor. And I do have evidence. In fact, you can say that your battleship bears its scar. If Director Cosmos is the third person or a Blackwell saw. This third person fired at Detective Harmon, Director Cosmos with her gun. And in return, the detective fired her warning shots. Isn't that how it really went down, Director Cosmos? And Direct Hector? Direct Hector! Ha! Ha ha It looks like you've deduced my miraculous tale of survival! Yes! You're absolutely correct! The mystery person fired upon us! Director Cosmos must have been the one who fired the 10 caliber gun. I really don't think so, but... When Detective Arm discovered him in the lounge, it only makes sense that he would have turned and shot at her. Therefore, the evidence on the director's body is of a different kind of relevance than before. What? Why are you as a man? <laughs> <laughs> no, finish the sentence. Go ahead. <laughs> um, uh, looking, at, looking at another man's body for evidence. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Fair enough. The Thank court will point. acknowledge that I am married to another man. Thank you very much. The court denies this. <laughs> the court married us. What? <laughs> Sustained. Thank you. <laughs> Once we compare it against another piece of evidence. The mark that you received from the third party will be all the proof we need. The court was at my fucking wedding. <laughs> <laughs> to prove that you were the one there in the lounge and also at my fucking wedding. It was direct to Cosmos in the lounge with a 10 caliber pistol. Fuck! Freeze for further impact! Comparison against this piece of evidence will prove that you were the one in the lounge. Um. Oh, I, so he's saying that arm shot at him, so it has to be the bullet from his arm's gun, right? The 38 caliber bullet found on the floor at the scene didn't hit the oxygen tank. It hit Director Cosmos's metal. But then what hit the oxygen tank? It, then it ricocheted. Okay. That's what they're trying to explain. Okay. In it's, this way, we know it's it's bogus, but that's what. They're yeah, this, this feels like a fault. Like this feels like a, a line of questioning slash thinking that is immediately going to get debunked in the next round. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if yeah. we have that ricochet mark on the metal analyzed, I'm sure the caliber will match up. And if that mark proves to be from a 38 caliber bullet, it will prove that you are the third person we've been looking for. Okay, I love that he spins around so much. The British is showing losing altitude. All hands, abandon ship. <laughs> if that's true, then what about the bullet that hit the oxygen? It was the 10 caliber bullet. In other words, it was the bullet fired by Yuri Cosmos. Isn't that right, Director? Okay, I guess we're providing explanation. No! You've got to tell the wrong! What? The engine has started! It's a miracle! I'm not going down yet! I, he is one of the more delusional witnesses to take the sand, I must say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Witness, stop this at once and confess the truth! Please! If you don't want the history books to say that a great man was a great liar, then accept your fate and tell the truth! <laughs> Are you giving me orders? This is a great director of Cosmos Space Center! <laughs> but the Cosmos to involves a great- you are not the son. I'm afraid. That's so great. Let <laughs> me just see you go. Somebody give me all this thing. Order. Order.
order in the court. And will someone please stop the witness from spinning? Breaking me dizzy. I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Not in here. Oh, Mr. Lake. Oh. Thank goodness we were able to stop him from spinning off the face of the earth. While he was twirling, I took the liberty of running an analysis on the mark on the middle. How did you get it from him? <laughs> Magic. It was made by a 38 caliber bullet, matching it with the size of Detective Arm's firearm. Wow, okay. Yeah. Are you ready to confess the truth, witness? No. <laughs> you thought it all wrong! This is just a misunderstanding! Is he going to start piling on more lies? It looks like it. But no matter how many lies he tells, I'll just expose them one by one. I'll make that big liar tell the truth. Bold words, liar. Phoenix. Oh, to be continued! Damn! Really? Oh. Wow. Okay! Wait, what does part huh? two look like? Hold okay. on. Alrighty then. See, uh, when I looked at um, the strategy wiki, it looked like there was just okay. one part. On this, on the strategy wiki, it looks like we have one more testimony to go through, and then we have to work out a mood matrix. Oh, How do um, we feel <laughs> about doing that tonight? Uh... Up to everybody else, because it's like midday for me, so. <laughs> yeah, Ren has the least stakes in this. So yeah. Mac and Mac and Rand, are yeah, you, you good for are staying up for another hour to uh, hour and a half if we are very efficient? I think I will. And we won't be. Huh? <laughs> um, midnight will be uh, like that's when I'll, my carriage turns into a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. What if we did a speed run, y'all? We won't. It won't. Oh, I don't think we it can. I don't think we can have it. But, we okay, but people. have we actually tried to do a speed run before? Hey, do we want to try tonight to be the speed run? <laughs> I mm. want to try. I want to see uh, the the limits of human possibility and <laughs> try a speed run tonight. Sir is, sir is saying, let it wait. Let it wait? Yeah, I think we should. Oh, I think wait. we should probably do this next time. Okay. Sorry, Kit. We can try speedrunning next time. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. Mm. Just it's only because I think it's only because I think this is a good part to stop at. If we, because I don't think we will be able to get through much, um, especially with Kit and Mac. You know, it's being so late for them. So I think it would be best to. Oh, it's not late for me. Listen. It's late for Rand. Oh, sorry. It's I meant I meant Rand and Mac. I meant Rand and Mac, <laughs> not Kit and Mac. Sorry. But we we did we did a good job at the speed run earlier on. I will say we did a good job yeah. with it. Yeah. We did a we did a fairly good job of uh, <laughs> the job was you mean ignoring chat and all the funny things that chat says on the daily. <laughs> <laughs> No! Oh no! <laughs> 2022. You think we're the type of people to do a speed run in this environment? Can believe it? Because our friends are too funny. It's a Friday once again. <laughs> what a way to end the stream, though. <laughs> You have to speedrun starting from the beginning. I mean, fair. That we did not do. Also, uh, I, I forgot to say earlier, thank you, Deej, for reminding me that I need to give Kate a VIP badge. Which is extremely funny. Oh my god, funny. you haven't given yeah. Kate one. I had it. I think, I think what happened Good was... Good night, Jerry. I had gone night, before. Jerry. Oh, I love you, Jerry. Good night. Thank you. For stopping by and hanging out. Um, I think what had happened before is I probably went to go give Kate uh, a VIP badge beforehand and then forgot how to spell Hyacinth and that like stopped me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, mm, 
I'll do it later when when I'm live or something like that. <laughs> yeah. And then just completely forgot. So. But this was a this was a good this was a good stream, y'all. Um, it was we had back. we had a lot of fun. I was also very happy to be back. Um, we will be back next week. Um, because I don't have anything planned. I hope y'all don't have anything planned. Um, I don't. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I also missed you last week, Teach, but I did have a good time with my friend Finn. Uh, mm. But yeah, um, nobody that I know is uh, live to raid, unless, unless. Uh, us. Let me see if there is any uh, other strange souls. Uh, playing Jewel Destinies right now. <laughs> let me let me look up the the Jewel Destinies tag. No, we are the only one. We are oh. the only one. I was going to say if if one other person was playing Jewel Destinies on Twitch, I would I would raid them right now, but uh they are not. So, we will we will just end the stream here. <gasps> Undertale's birthday was yesterday? What? Did I know? No. Yeah, both both Undertale and Delta Rift. Wow. Oh wait, <laughs> wait, he released it on the birthday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is yeah. wild. Holy Toby shit. Toby Fox is nothing if not efficient. I mean, yeah, he he is like if I expected that from any developer, it would be Toby Fox. Yeah. Um, happy belated birthday, Undertale. Then, holy shit. I feel like, uh, see, I would, I would play Undertale on stream at some point, uh, like, theoretically when everything, like, the full story comes out, but I know I won't be able to contain myself from, like, watching someone else play it, uh, in the meantime. <laughs> Put Megalovania Mambo number five in chat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fun fact, in the credits of Undertale and Deltarune, Toby Fox's name is listed separately as Robert F. Fox, or Fox F, and Robert F. Fox, implying his full name is Robert Fox Fox. Good. Good for him. I love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he did a fake survey thing that was actually Deltarune Chapter 1. What? Yeah, that was oh. what it was. He he, uh, when whenever he was releasing Delta Rune Chapter One, he was just he just ominously was like, "Hey guys, uh, go to this link and try and fill out this survey for us, okay?" <laughs> and it was like, whenever you downloaded it, it looks like one of those like really shady yeah, <laughs> virus things. Uh, and it was it was a whole thing. Everyone, everyone was like, "If it was anybody oh else, I, uh, I would think that they were trying to hack into my computer." <laughs> I was the other day on my computer. I was like, what is that? And I was like, oh, yeah, that's Delta Rune. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking incredible. He also put it on the page not to tell anyone about it. Yeah, yeah. He said, I about it. Like, just like, don't tell anyone. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> though, honestly, though, me as the developer, I would pull that exact <laughs> same bullshit. Like, yeah, it was, I just, love that. I, Toby Fox is great, guys. I mean, His I would, dedication to not being seen, too, is so, so, <laughs> so I would great. love to uh, meet shoot. the man because I feel like we would just vibe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He is oh. a fucking icon. Um, oh, wait, guys. He, I... he had a non-binary uh, protagonist before. It was cool. Exactly. Yeah, Frisk. We love it. Love wait, Rand, what were you going to say? Um... This is an Undertale related, but I just remembered, um, I kind of want to tell my professor who runs the archive that I work at that Pathologic exists. You should. Mm. Why? I'm curious now why you want to tell them that Pathologic exists. Because he's really interested in drama, I think, because oh. I work in a separate office and there's a lot of, like, there's so much postmodernist writers, including Berktold Brecht. And oh my god, yeah, he should play Pathologic too. Yeah, Holy like, shit! <laughs> hey, 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 Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, have you, you heard of video this. games? <laughs> have you heard of video games, Joe? Have you, have your have you heard of Russian video game name of Pathologic 2? 
On, like honestly, you? I think you should. I think you should try and broach that uh, that subject with him. I think he would be very pleased. Mm-hmm. I because because. And here's my here's my thought is like obviously video games. Sure. Are, um, <laughs> share my wonderful creation that I slaved over. <laughs> oh my god! Please. Um. Um. Like, video games are obviously their own artistic medium, right? But I think in terms of previous artistic mediums, um, they most closely feature, like, um, not feature, resemble theater in some ways. Um, It's just, like, theater where you are then an active participant in the show that is being performed, right? Um, (gasps) Up ran when melt. Oh my oh, god. Re- oh my god. What do you mean by right next to you, Mac? Like, I'm sitting in my chair. She was sleeping on the heating pad. It must have made a sound because I heard, like, murk, 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 murk. and then that's, she, like, speaks when she wakes up. I think she's just saying, like, I'm awake. I'm... <laughs> oh, here's so why I'm awake. Is Flat Fuck Friday. I, I was it's saying, Flat Fuck Friday, you fucking losers. <laughs> I look behind me and she just like immediately flops to the ground and she just is on her side like splayed out as she always yeah. does when she got when she That's bakes so her buns beautiful. too much. <laughs> I'll take a photo. Oh, please put it in the animals animals <laughs> channel, please. Um, this is Pokemon music, I know it. What is it? Hold on. Cyanwood City from Heart Gold and Soul Silver. We knew it, bitch. I know Pokemon music anywhere. Does a Friday command stack like you can you get two at once? I've never tested this. Oh no. I'm scared now. We're about to find <laughs> out. You would do this to me right in the middle of Cyanwood. You would do this. Kit, Kit, maybe you should save before you forget. <laughs> <laughs> it does yeah. It cuts it to itself off. And if you can believe it, it cuts itself off. Oh my god. Oh lord. And if you can Wait, can't have we save? Let's save, please save, Kit. <laughs> no, we it's save. September That's at uh, okay. 19. <laughs> it's okay. a September 16. 16. Okay. 2022. Okay, you did save. Okay, my bad. And if you can believe it. I forgot I was still streaming to you guys. I'll also save, it's save. It's a Friday once again. And if you can believe it, it's a Friday once again <laughs> in Cyanwood City. You know what I'm so excited for? Is fucking the new Pokemon. Mm. I'm so excited for that bitch. Mm. I mean, I'm also so excited for a wonderful life. Like, oh my I god. I am too. So like, fucking much. Can you imagine? I'm just I'm just thinking because like simultaneously in my mind, Harvest Moon a Wonderful Life is both the best and the worst. Or like not the worst, but the most disappointing. What? Um Listen, I, I will explain this. Also I will explain this in a future like video essay or whatever. But it's like Hell yeah. it's it's one of those things where I can absolutely see the vision that they were going for um and they achieved it on a couple of uh points but it feels like that kind of game where they ran out of like budget um and like a lot of stuff got left unimplemented like my biggest qualm is that there are no festivals or anything like that in town. Yeah, that's really disappointing. Especially like, when all the other games have Yeah, them. like that's such a staple of... It, it was such a staple of the Harvest Moon that games that came before it. And then it's such a staple of every single farming sin that came after it that it's extremely disappointing and it feels like that would have been the thing that 
Are... The only phrase I can think of is nail in the coffin, but like that would have been the thing that bumped it up to success, that would right? Be the pièce de that the pièce de résistance would have been festivals, right? So I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm hoping. And I do praying. think that there's gonna be festivals in this one. I feel oh? it because in because in the preview, in the preview, they had a point where you are with your family and you watch fireworks. Okay, see, like, now that's what I'm fucking talking about. It's just- However, I think it's only gonna be available after the first year. Well, maybe. Honestly, I feel like, like, totally in a different camp because whenever there's <laughs> festival days in any, like, farm sim I play, I'm always like, fuck, okay, I'll go. Like, I never <laughs> like them. Because they're the same every year, and after you do it the one time, you're like, fuck this goddamn... Well, uh, that, that's me. I'm like, fuck this no, shit. No, I, I, I definitely get that feeling. With, like, Stardew Valley and shit, I'm like, what the fuck ever? I've been to this already. Like, the Jellyfish Festival or whatever. It's like, okay, whatever the fuck. Like, I've already seen this. But I think the thing that sets... Um, a Wonderful Life Apart is the fact that the community, like, is different from year to year. And I feel like yeah. that could really sell the it festivals It develops! To me. Right? That's like, awesome like about people, it. like, older, older people die and new people move into the valley and stuff like that. And, like, I feel like that is the thing that could it really get older. bring it together. Yeah, exactly. Because that's that's one of my main points for why I think heart, uh, like a wonderful life is the best um uh like harvest moon slash farming sim uh out there is the fact that the community grows with you and that there is an end point. It's not like Stardew Valley has always felt to me like a game about number go up. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Which like directly contradicts its like uh like it's like opening statement within the first moments of the game right if you're opening the game as a new player it's like oh how soulless is it work to how how soulless is it to work for like this giant mega corporation where you just make uh where your suffering makes the number go up what if you move to the country uh, and connected with the community but then the end result is just numbers still go up um, in a way that I'm like, I feel like you didn't follow through, though. Yeah, um, what I like about Harvest Moon, at, or Story of Seasons, yeah. as it is, it's like, a lot of them, they do have an end. They technically do have an end where you can follow the screen if you go with certain things, but then afterward, it's like Pokemon. You can choose whether or not to play, continue to play. Yes. And, that, and the same is with uh, A Wonderful Life. You can get yeah. a heaven ending where it's like, okay, now you can just like farm for eternity, whatever. You can do yeah, that Yeah, you can thing. just do what you want to do. No, um, no rules. <laughs> but yeah. You have um, <laughs> Oh, which version am I getting? That is a good question. I Hold on. I made my decision early on, but it was based on the professor's. What, uh, who, who is the, uh, who is the Scarlet Professor? I think it's the Lamin. Professor. Yeah, I think it was Scarlet that I was like, okay, yeah, I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing Scarlet. <laughs> also, I hated the Legendary for, uh, Violet. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Yeah, so I think Scarlet is the one I'm going to get. Nice. These sound like good games. They are, Sarah. Um, only been half paying attention and finally realized y'all were talking about Harvest Moon. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No! Becca, why would someone make a video game about the, the Italian movie? I was movie? confused. Oh my you were God. saying it's a wonderful life, and I'm like, okay, um, I didn't realize, like, why, like, I don't know what you guys no, could- no! Life is beautiful. Becca, you claim to have played a wonderful life. I I refer to Harvest Moon as Harvest Moon is the thing. So in my Becca. head, I I just call it Harvest Moon. See, and this is what separates you from me, Becca, is when I say Harvest Moon, I think Harvest Moon 
N64, the original Harvest Moon for the I Nintendo 64. It. Exactly. I have never listen. I was too young for the N64. So I. I, I <laughs> You were also too young for Sarah's lies that there was a black horse that would show up on year three of your farm. Oh. Um, which, I don't know why I believed her wholeheartedly, but our sister Sarah loved to fucking lie to me about video games <laughs> all the time. I don't understand why. Actually, no, I know why, because I'm fucking gullible, and I would listen to her and be like, oh, Really? It's <laughs> You're not gullible, kid. You just trusted your sister. I trusted my sister, and I trusted too much, apparently. <laughs> I'll never let her live it down. A wonder love, a Wonderful Life is the game where that guy sees what it would, life would be like if he's dead. It's a Christmas... Oh, okay. Um, so... I... I don't know what movie I keep, uh, thinking is... Uh, It's a Wonderful Life. But there's, like, another movie that is, like, an Italian movie. It's, like, a black and white movie. It is movie. beautiful. Life is Life beautiful. Is beautiful. La Thank you. Is bella. La yeah. vie is bella. Yeah, exactly. Buongiorno, principessa. Exactly! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. That's a movie that I keep getting confused with. It's a Wonderful Life in my head. Life is Beautiful and It's a Wonderful Life are like the same movie in my head for some reason. I've never seen the movie version I guess of It's a Wonderful they... Life, but like the titles are so similar in my brain that I keep like being like, oh, It's a Wonderful Life, the Italian movie about uh, this Italian Jew who ends up in like <laughs> a like concentration a camp. Yeah, yeah the, the saddest, saddest movie that you could think of. <laughs> I had to, because like Christ. I was... It was when I had knee surgery that I that, oh, no. that was being taught in my class. So I was like at home, and so I was like, "Oh, okay, I'll watch." The, I just like downloaded it online so uh -huh. I could do the homework and whatnot. So, and g thank fucking Christ, I didn't watch it in school because I was sitting there just like, <laughs> just, like yeah. right? sobbing, crying, I think I shitting did my pants. I watch it like, in school, and that I was bad. I never <laughs> I watched this for crying. school. I just owned the DVD for some weird reason. <laughs> that's like not like a casual viewing movie. Yeah, <laughs> that's I that's the thing. It's, I didn't. It's considered a classic. It is like, considered a classic. I did not know what I was going into when I, I like I, I don't even know how I came to own the movie is the thing. But we we had acquired at some point in my teenagehood uh, a DVD uh, version of. Uh, Life is Beautiful, and I watched it one day, not knowing what I was getting into at all. <laughs> and I was just like, what the fuck is going on? I mean, it was a beautiful movie. Life was beautiful. Um, it's just also, like, tragic. <laughs> like, the saddest thing you've ever seen. It's so absolutely. sad. Someone could absolutely could base a video game on It's a Wonderful Life and make it a walking simulator or something. But <laughs> no. I, I find It's a Wonderful Life so boring. I'm like, yes, oh no. Oh the bank oh. man lost all the bank money. What will he <laughs> do? Speaking of like movies where you don't know what's gonna happen, I kept hearing about this movie and I saw it at Blockbuster. I was like, Mom, Dad. Can I watch Old Yeller? And they were like, oh, no. no! And they're like, oh, right, just so is. you know, it's gonna be really fucking sad. And um, I was like, I, I'm cool with it. And watch it. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, Ren, did you say? I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. It's this movie basically where this like, it's like a American like rural homestead and they get this dog named old yeller but then he protects the family when they get like attacked by a rabid coyote or a wolf so then the son has to put oh. him down uh mm -hmm. and that it's kind of like a like a trope now of like yeah you know, take like, him out back you know you gotta do what's good for him and yeah. put him out of his misery and oh, like God. like old I, I, old yeller evokes emotions in americans <laughs> Yeah, the question is whether or not it's like it's always a mix of sadness and like not this fucking shit again. 
Exactly. Yeah. Hey, um, I remember from in, in fourth grade, this is vaguely related, uh, <laughs> my, our teacher, um, cause like every, I think every, at the end of, at the end of school, they would, they would like read to us, right? Read like a chapter of some book and, um, mm-hmm. she was reading Where the Red Fern Grows to oh, Us. Oh, no. yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh no, that's that? that? just, I don't know what that is. No, no, you don't understand. You, I oh, have the so most traumatic. vivid memory of of just a class, 20 children, including the teacher, bawling their eyes out as <laughs> as she's reading that like last chapter or whatever. It's like she she was like literally choked up crying she could barely read it and all of us are like gathered like god oh my god i just i just unlocked another part of the memory immediately after we finished the book we all started talking about our pets that had died oh my god <laughs> oh, no okay i <laughs> never talking about <laughs> can i can i be real i have ne- i never read where the red friend grows really god and i could not have told you what it was I mean, about me until I looked up the it's Wikipedia very, summary very just now. It's very quintessential American. It's very Americana. Yeah, another sad story. Just a, yeah, it's like, just another what was, sad what was the I one that I did read? About. It was like about some kid who ran away from home and was like living in the wilds in the Catskills. Uh, like the, it was like the side of the mountain or something like that. The other side of the mountain. Was that the name? Yeah, at least I one of them was. I know that, that there was. I... I know that there. It was. There's like this side of the mountain and the other side of the mountain. Um, and he runs away and he like. Oh, my! Up. It might have been my, my side, side of the mountain. My side. Yeah, and the sequel is the other side. I think. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's like he decides to just run away from home and live in the Catskill Mountains, which are uh, for Ren. Those are the mountains. Um, uh, in, like, upstate New York, like, the northeastern mm-hmm. part of the continent. Um, so they're not they very tall cold. mountains. They get cold, but they're also not very tall mountains. Or yeah, it's, it's different compared to, like, the Blue Ridge Mountains, or... Yeah. Um, because so, I remember that one because it was, like, uh, he makes, like, a hollow inside this, like, huge tree that he finds. And I, yeah. like, fantasized that about that as a child. I was yeah. like, I remember, oh, my God. I remember and the, he, like, the the- <laughs> he, like, harvested, like, uh, like, cattail roots to eat um, and, like, made, like, acorn pancakes one time and shit like that. I remember at the end of that novel, his fa- his family finally comes up and, like, meets up with him, and he, like, agrees to, like, live with them again as long as they stay there. Um, and, like, his parent, his dad starts, like, cutting down the trees and stuff to build a home, and he, and he was like, no, we can just live in the trees and stuff, and his dad's like, that's stupid, and I'm like... <laughs> Uh, and I'm like, dude, you should just run away again. You had the right fucking idea. Just, yeah. <laughs> live, in the, live in the trees. Live in your little fucking hollow, eating your nuts and berries. You're, you're, you are in the right. Because I think I was like 12 when I read this. So. <laughs> the, the, I... the Wikipedia page says in, uh, in June, Sam is surprised to find his family at the farm. Because it's like he used his grandfather's or great grandfather's farm as like a jumping off point. His father announces that the family is moving to the farm. Sam is happy at first, then also upset because it means the end of his self-sufficiency. As the novel ends, Sam concludes that life is about balancing his desire to live off the land with his desire to be with the people he loves. And what a fucking feeling, though. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) The desire to be alone and completely alone and just dependent on oneself versus the desire to interact with other people. (laughs) Fuck. Oh, okay. I should I should head off soon because I still need to shower before bed. Yeah, but this is fair. My formative book as a child was Holes by Louis Sicard. Holes was another good one, though. Holes is so good. Holes and... was so good. Oh, I read Holes. I did yeah. read Holes in third grade. Yeah, like, honestly... Oh, I was much older Holes than that Holes is I... the reason why... Ultimately, I grew to love reading, and why I'm pretty much probably in my current position today. Oh, you should tell. Wait, is the author of Holes still alive? I don't know. I don't know. I need to check. I'm looking this up now. 
It was published in 1998. Louis Sakar. Mm -hmm. Theoretically still alive! Yeah! You should tell that man. <laughs> what do you mean by theoretically? I, well, the, the I mean, Wikipedia the page... He's dead. The Wikipedia page does not have a death date, so... <laughs> the, the assumption is he's still up. I... Well, if he has a website, maybe I'll send it sometime. He does have an official website. I'm clicking on it. LewisSakar.com. Okay. S-A-C-H-A-R. Yeah, it's just... It has so many great things in it. It's so, it, like, Holes was like, a really formative for me, too, honestly. Yeah. Oh, Sarah, the tree does not catch fire, but he does get uh, carbon dioxide poisoning. Oh, God. At one point from not ventilating the tree properly. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, Persuasion so by Jane pretty. Austen. Oh, my God. Dude, I never... I just read persuasion this summer because it's i on have my exam never list. read so good. persuasion i should it's well okay it's really good but before i do that i promised myself i was gonna read ursula Le Guin's uh uh stuff and specifically Ursula. <gasps> mm -hmm. yes i had I, I had a lot of essay stuff like i have yeah. i have Ursula on loan from the library on my phone right now um, I need to. Or, like, the, right. the very yes. first one. What is it? Uh, a Wizard, oh, Wizard of Earthsea. Earth yeah. I watched, like, my first brush with Earthsea was actually the Studio Ghibli movie. Oh, and same. I watched that when I was, when I was younger. Oh. Like, I think a bit too young for it. And <laughs> I was <Yeah>. like... <laughs> like, I loved it, but I was like... <laughs> And like here's the thing, minutes. I'm like really curious because the Studio Ghibli film feels really disjointed to me. Um, so I was like, that's does, why I, that's why I downloaded the the book because I was like, okay, is the series as as disjointed as the movie was? Which I feel like the answer is probably not. Um, no, but all the same, uh, I, I loved have, a lot I of aspects have, of the movie where I was like, I actually have okay. like a really old paint, like a really really old version of it. Um, but yeah. I don't know where I've put it because it was gifted oh. to me by my aunt and I don't know where it is. I have to find it. Yeah, nice. I, I feel the same way. Like, honestly, Ursula, I still need to read all of the Ursula books. I've only read A Wizard of Ursula and the Tombs of Atuan, but Ooh. I need to read it all because, like, I need to finish the trilogy and I need to read the books that come after it because I feel like, from what I heard, it gives larger perspective on the world. and it, It's almost like Le Guin answering, like, Okay, I see why some people were kind of thinking, like, what about this? What about this? Why are you framing it this way? And I'm going to answer that and expand on this, mm. which is great. However, I will say the Hainish cycle, from all the ones, the books I've read in the Hainish cycle, Night Deej, in the Hainish cycle I've read so far, every single fucking one wrecked my shit and I loved it. Well, there we the go. The left hand of darkness wrecked my shit, and it was great. I have I have been recommended several times over from people to read the right hand of darkness or left hand of the darkness. The left hand, yeah. Um, yeah. I I I I feel like over the next year, I just want to dedicate myself to reading like one's shit. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> I will say, um, you may not want to read Rockinon's World. It's the first book in the Hainish cycle, it's good, and it sets up certain things in the cycle if you get to it after Ursi. But read the short story called Semley's Necklace. Hmm. Okay. Because as a short story, it technically works as the prologue to Rakanon's world, and that's how I first read it, but as on its own, it's so, so interesting. And it also wrecks you. Oh, so you're prepared. Fair. Um, <laughs> Ursula Le Guin um, mostly wrote in fantasy. Um, sci-fi. And sci-fi. Sci yeah. Sci the Hainish cycle well, is sci-fi sci fantasy. Sci-fi fantasy. Sci-fi fantasy. Sci fantasy. Like, yeah. And depending like, on the, where the you're tales going, of Earthsea are all like more fantasy-like. Yes. Whereas stuff like, I think Left Hand of Dark, that's more sci-fi, isn't it? But like it's sci-fi yeah, fantasy. Yeah, it's like, it's really interesting. Especially with the left hand of darkness, 
Okay, I'm gonna be dusted, but you brought up Ursula K. Le Guin, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> I should, yeah, I think, I think I should also go. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm like, I'm like, oh my god, I love talking about this with y'all, but also I'm now I'm like, yeah, yeah, we should let people go. <laughs> yeah. Good night, everyone. Good night, oh, oh, I didn't mean to cut you off early. I mean, finish your thought, but. Uh, non-fiction philosopher? No, she's she's a uh, fiction she's writer. She's not. She's not. She <laughs> does have philosophical and political and social ideas yes. interwoven in her books. And what's interesting, just when I'm thinking about The Left Hand of Darkness, it does have some interesting works where it's like passages that are almost historical slash anthropological in how it goes because her parents, I think, were anthropologists and archaeologists. What also, I if I could recommend anyone read anything by her, if nothing else, um, reading the short story, uh, and I always forget the full title, but it's The Ones Who Walk Away From... Omalas. Omalas. Yes. The Ones Who Walk Away From Omalas. Yeah. An incredibly oh, short God. read, an incredibly impactful read. Um, it's so I would highly good. recommend. It's like five it's so pages good. total. Um, it will take you no time to read it all. Yes. So, anyway. Absolutely. With that. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, everyone, for stopping by tonight. Um, thank you, uh, Deej, for all the gifted subs. I very much appreciate it. Um, I think Deej is already gone, but I wanted to put that out there again. Um, I will be back on Monday. Uh, theoretically with more Yakuza. Uh, we'll see how I'm feeling um, if we play something else or uh, if we play Yakuza. Um, but I will see you in the Discord in the meantime, and we will be back next Friday for more Dual Destinies. We'll finish up the second half of this trial day um, and get on to the final case. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right, have a good night, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see you around. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye.